played this last. Uh, not as long as the first time when I came back, but I would like to start getting through this, and now that I am not two months busy with miscellaneous things, um, hopefully we can get back to it. Um, if you hear me crunching on something, I'm sorry. If my audio is low, please let me know, and I'll try to boost my microphone or something. Um, hopefully the game audio isn't echoing out. I don't have my TV that loud, but uh, I'm not close enough to it now where I can put on headphones, so... Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. The family name was Okiura. Left half. Two X's? Terror is just playing with us. Oh yeah, we found out Mizuki was like genetically modified, right? Also. I also miss her. It's been so long since I've ever seen you. Yeah, let me just read some of your eyes and go. Um, let me put my mic a little bit closer to my mouth because I feel like I'm really quiet on VODs. So I'm just gonna go down this list. Seems like the best thing to do. Hopefully ASMR Kai Eats a Chip isn't too bad. Oh, she's so cute on her little moped. I might have said that the first time. It's you! What happened? What? Why do you sound like that? Uh... Forget about me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. Them that Shikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, and that Terror left me a message taunting me with a balloon search challenge. How about that? Blue and red balloons. Looks like a 
It's a window. There's a locker by the window. Do re mi. <laughs> sofa. It's sofa. Ah, hot stone spas feel so good. They do, but what? There's a tiger rug on the floor. It's the coffee table. There's an ashtray on the table. Some sort of permit. There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. Do not panic if you accidentally open a port site while you're on the train. There's a piece of paper listing out general principles on the wall. Oh. This month's plans are laid out on a whiteboard. 27th Pantomime at the Reform School. It's the door. There's a partition right in front of the doorway. It's a chair. A gang member's desk. There are all sorts of things on it. There are lockers lined up on the wall. Seems like there are files in the shelf. Oh, Moma! Your lanterns are so big! Why do you sound like that? So big and manly, yes! I don't like where this is going. Where do I? There's a row of lanterns. It's a dragon with a golden ball. It's a family altar. The Kumakura crest is on display. It's the chairman's desk. There's a phone on the desk. It's a keyboard for the PC. I hacked into it. Yeah? There is one item in the search history. How to defeat Mammal. Oh, they play Shirin. Wait, how do you need help beating Mammal? <laughs> Me too. It's the door connecting to the next room. Um, we're here to talk to Moma, so I'm gonna talk to Leanne first. It's Leanne. Oh wait, they have wink sinks? They have wink sinks! Hold on, I have to save now. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're back to... That's right, this takes us straight into the advice room. Worried about health? That's right. Hmm. Do you take care of your body? Do you work out. Mm hmm That is good. Many people today neglect exercise. True. Send a message with your muscles. Moderate exercise is good for your body. Healthy foods and cleanliness is important. However, you also need to build a strong immune system. I will say it once more. Send a message with your muscles. This is such an IBA response, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. I look good in anything. You look good in true. This is a This is apparently their reaction when they found out Abyss washrooms are getting bidets. This, this is apparently the This is a Why is it scrolling down? I'll deal with that later. I'll have I have a close later, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> we were going to save and then I was going to wink sing.
sync with MoMA, and then I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna talk to them. Inhumane genome. Skip that. Mama, I. Oh, my sweet flower. You shouldn't fall in love with a rogue like me. Oh my god. But, Mama, I can't help myself. You're only going down the road of pain and regret. No, that's not true. As long as I have you by my side. I need an adult. Tessa. Mama. <laughs> Tessa. Why don't you ask him that? Have you seen a anywhere? Oh, I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Yeah, it was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Thanks, I'll go check it out. Why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. Balloons. balloons, huh? I wish I could float like a balloon. That's a bizarre situation. I don't really know what happened. But I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horidori Institute, right? Director Horidori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki... I admit I am curious as well. However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. Oh, that seems also important, but... It would seem... feels remiss to not gather information while you're... while you have it readily available. Anyway... MoMA! It's MoMA. His voice sounds... off. What's with your voice? This is a Vochlocho. A what? A voice-changing lock choker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? No! You got it all wrong! This was a gift! It came preset like this! Yeah? Who gave it to you? Shinpei! He gave it to me yesterday! He said it was a thank you gift! I have analyzed the voice. The voice he is using now is that of Iris Saga. Yeah. Right. I knew I recognized it. Mama and Shinpei are hardcore ASET fans. Or, perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpei gave him that Vojlocho with Iris's voice set as the default? 
It seems so that way. Creepy. What a creep. I agree. Vote Shocho is a product sold on the dark web. Use a PC to upload someone's voice to analyze their voice profile. Input that information and put the Vote Shocho on your audio neck. <laughs> this allows for small electric signals to alter the voice. By the way, I'm good at voices. Thanks, I love. Um. God. Okay. Can you take it off? <laughs> the thing about that is, I lost the key. How? Is it gonna be super plot relevant? It's so stupid that it has to be. <laughs> I was getting pretty into the booze here at the office last night with this thing on. So you were playing around with it. Mizuki's expression is like the exact basic. Thinking about it too. The more details he gives, the creepier he sounds. I woke up and I couldn't find the fucking key! I thought I had put it somewhere safe or something, but I couldn't remember. So that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help. I've known Leon for years. I know what he can do. <laughs> thanks. But those are days I would rather forget. I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? Are you guys sure you want to say this in front of a cop? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? Like, it's Mizuki, so it's fine, but... <laughs> that's in the past. I've gone clean. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. This is getting weird. Can I leave? <laughs> Burn in hell! I need an adult. <laughs> um... About Shakara's left side being down. Ugh, stop with that occult crap! I don't like it one bit. I don't get it, and I don't like it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have no idea. Okay. Have you seen a balloon anywhere? I haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn. We know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. <laughs> I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. already the <laughs> Joker oh. what's going on Mola is losing circulation to his brain uh. the choker must be preventing blood flow help it took that long he's been wearing it since last night Leon please yeah got it Ugh, this old geezer. His breath stinks. That's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouch's rat. Jesus Christ. What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Ugh. Mizuki, look for the key. The key? The key that will unlock the choker. 
I thought I had put it someplace safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Oh, I know. Sorry, I'm not gonna read all of these. Because I'm pretty sure I know where it is. But I just want to see if there's special text. Did you check the crest? Huh? Did I hear something? Check it in a second. No. Bye, Moma. You're just gonna leave me? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Take off the Mojo Lucho. Oh. Is that a hidden safe? Sure is. It appears to be. There's an ASET figure, and there it is! It's the key! Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASET figure? Uh, you know why. Mizuki, focus! After all that. Save me. Sorry. You should thank Leon. My bad. Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha. Uh -huh. The master of unlocking at your service. Now nah, hold on. That don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than? Picking the safe. Eh, whatever. Uh, Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Right, we need to find the balloons. Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Moma, can I borrow your Voge Locho? Yeah, sure. Huh? You saved my life, I owe you one. Thanks, Homa. There it is. Now let's go. I keep doing that. Now then. Let's go. I really like the Mizuki Iba duo. It's really cute. Mama looks much better now. Hi, Steph! I also miss Dante Nitro. Liam hasn't changed much since back then. It's a dragon with a golden ball. I'm not gonna read through all of these because I'm pretty sure there's not like much change dialogue from earlier, but just I kind of refuse to believe that uh, Dante is not fine. Not his child is uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're about part way through the second half of this game, so, you know, spoiler warning. 
If you haven't played the first game, play the first game, uh, if you don't have it, this is where I plug and say, it's on, sta on sale now on Steam for $8. Go, meet my loser cringe fail boyfriend, Dante Konami, and you too will want to hit him with a curling iron. <laughs> On sale now! Eight dollars! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just doing the investigation part of the game right now, so I'm just gonna go down the list. Because I don't want to think about where to go. <laughs> the way the first half of this game ends, so holy shit, I was losing my mind. Yeah. Okay. If your show with spoilers, it's totally fine. But definitely pick up and play the first game. No balloons the here. The first game is so good. I was so excited for it when I was waiting for it to come out. Because I was just like, yeah, yeah. And then all of the um, promotional stuff was uh, not quite an ARG, but it was pretty close to being one. Mama at Marble may have information. Yeah, good idea. I'll ask her. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Wow, information gets to you fast. I know when to make things quick, and when to take my time. <laughs> right, let's look around. There's an occult poster on the wall. Hey! Wanna see a video of Luca Claridium being a parasite inside a snail? A what? Absolutely! I <laughs> no. That sounds disgusting. Why? I don't know. I always sleep on top of this counter. Oh. You're making that up. You know, if you can't think of anything to say, you don't have to say anything. There are bottles and glasses on the shelves. It's a beer tab. Oh, that's... I can't talk today, Jesus. That's a suspicious book. The spine says, The Picture in the Rye. Suspicious books. When we read The Catcher in the Rye in high school, I actually... enjoyed that. There's not too many books I have to a friend of mine really hated it. I was asleep. It's because you're literally folded. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count how many there are. Did you count the number of bottles? Nope, not at all. I will announce the answer. We will announce the answer. On the internet. There are bottles that lined up on the counter. It's a sofa. There's a table in front of the sofa. It's a menu. There's writing all over the back. The menu is written on the blackboard. The top lip of a duck-lipped girl. What? There's a menu of recommended dishes on the blackboard. Hangers on the wall. Uh, 
there's a movie poster on the wall. Chuck Steak Redemption? <laughs> it is a story about a man named Andy who gets sent to prison for a crime he didn't commit, where he makes Chuck Steaks. Really? There's a movie poster on the wall. I don't watch a lot of movies, so I guess I have to believe that's what, what that's about. There's a flyer on the wall. There's a painting on the wall. And then I can't interact with the things and stuff on the screen. Crystal ball. There are two balls on the counter. Alright, let's talk to Mama. I like how you sing with her. Mama is polishing her crystal balls. I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, Drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? Are we talking about oranges? <laughs> it spills, honey. are my mighty balls. After I plucked these out, I filled them with silicone. Oh, that's why there are two. She is clearly joking. Yes. <laughs> Any information? Hmm, yeah. I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent. And their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. What does that mean? Anyway. He really believed in the simulation theory. The moon of the sun is the only sign of the creator. The one is the one creating this world. They intentionally abandoned their memories so they could forge through this world of lies. Which is why we worship the one with the sun, the percent. What was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. Smells fishy, if you ask me. No fishier than you. Oh, well, I think it's more suspicious than Mama is. <laughs> What's the sign of percent? That I don't know. But I have a feeling it has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you. But this order of percent must be involved in all this somehow. Hey, have you seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but I can ask the milky balls. Don't, don't call them that. <laughs> oh, mighty balls, who is the biggest liar in the world? Those bags that say tear here. Oh, absolutely right. What is with that? Who cares about that? 
That is totally unrelated. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now, let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful, please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. You will find it there. Ooh, did that work? Also, no, yeah, she's so right. This character thinks that. Well, I guess we should head to Ikume Shrine. You actually believed her? Not necessarily, but it's something. Something, huh? Thanks, Mama. That was a big help. I don't know how any of that information helped you. But if it did, that's great. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. that before oh, right. Harbor Warehouse District. Let's go. Oh. No balloons here. No. But there is someone who looks like they might give out balloons. Yeah. It's Kenny. Perhaps he knows something. What a coincidence running into you here. What's up? Um, well... <clears throat> I told him that Shikara's left side was left at Yoyaki Park, and then Tara left me a message talking about the balloon search challenge. So these balloons might lead to a break in the case. And finding them would help with arresting the culprit. Probably. Also, no, yeah, I know she's done it before. I understand, though, because I also, I'm like, oh, it's, it's real, real, real information this time. Mizuki, it is a school of flathead gray mullets. Oh, they are so cute. You like fish, too? It's Tokyo Bay. There's a school of flathead gray mullets. Oh, wait, let me turn on while I do this. It's a pillar for anchoring a ship. A forklift is parked here. It's a cold storage warehouse. There are warehouses lined up here. I searched inside, but couldn't find anything. Keep a gun! What was that? My impression of the kaiju Kibagon. He resides in the lumber yards of Koto. Th that's what Iris said. It wasn't my idea. You're the one bringing it up. It's a wooden box. No balloons inside. No balloons inside. Yeah. There's a shipping container here. <clears throat> it's a crane. Um, there's something else, or was that just a gun that I flicked over? I think it was just a gun. all the examinable objects over here that I can look at. I thought it was very cute. I'm still sad I didn't get the collector's edition for this game because it came with an Iba figure and I'm just like, damn it, I missed my chance to have an Iba figure. <laughs> Why are you here? This is my favorite spot. I came to look at the ocean. 
Looking at the horizon really calms me down. How long have you been here? Since about eight in the morning. Don't you need to open for lunch today? No, I don't really feel up for it today. I'll open it for dinner only. Shouldn't you take running your restaurant a little more seriously? But I'm exactly that, serious. I don't want to serve food to my customers when I'm not at my best. Cooking is a serious affair. Oh, I don't want to be like Ota, cooking some half-assed Help. meals. <laughs> Help. <laughs> About Shikara's last time. <laughs> well? Ringing any bells? Mizuki, look. What is this? As you can tell, his temperature is rising rapidly. Oh no. I'm making him horny. Mizuki? You don't have the sex appeal for that, Mizuki. Oh, I am not going to take that from you, Aiba. Oh. The point is, Gen is agitated. Though I cannot determine exactly why. Oh my god. Have you seen a balloon anywhere? No, I, I don't know about any balloons. Got it. Sorry I can't be of any help. No, you don't have to apologize. Alright. Oh god. Everything in this game always happens out of nowhere, and I'm always like, I should expect things like this, and then it gives me whiplash. <laughs> If you say so. What was that? It seemed like he was talking to someone. Who? Unknown. There is something off about Ken. Yeah, he's not his usual self. Do you think he's a different person? Meaning... Someone else wearing a Gen mask. Well, not that that is impossible, but... Gakuma's a funny series. I mostly watched my brother play through it, but I would like to actually play it through it myself sometime. Alright, next ray It can't be. Gen... What is it? Why are you staring at me? Oh, oh sorry. No, it's okay. I can tell what you're thinking. You don't think my face is monstrous, do you? No. I felt this way before. That touch. From who? I was born with a crooked skeleton. My muscles and my skin are different from regular people. I got picked on since I was a kid. People hated me, insulted me, threw rocks, spit on me. That was just life. Normal. But she... Aren't you afraid? Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No. I think you're charming, if anything. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Amame. Oh, 
I told you this is how I was born, right? But I wasn't supposed to look like this. This was a result of genome experiments in the name of youth and eternal life at the hands of Chikara Horadori. There it is. No. You asked me about him earlier. That's why I hesitated to answer. I couldn't say anything. The terrible memories. I'm sorry I had to tell you all of this. You can forget it, really. Well, see ya. Uh. Mizuki, should you not pursue him? He knows about Chikara. I know, but I gotta get my head straight. Can you give me some time? What about the balloons? Yeah, I'll still look, but... There's a lot of thoughts I have to keep in my head now. And... Quirk again. He's such a, like, sweet character, too. Yeah, we, we did figure that out, but... It sure hits to hear it directly. Also, yeah, I'd like to play the Yakuza series uh, myself sometime. I don't know if I will play it on stream or not when I get to it. Um, I'd probably restart Yakuza 0 because I think I started it, played it for like an hour and didn't get too far. Ugh, again. It makes me so sad. Oops, other way, other way. Uh, there's no new dialogue. the Miseton department store. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. It's a rooftop for this. Why is there a police officer here? Unknown. But I see a balloon over there. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. This isn't one of Terror's balloons. I suppose not. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say. It's not the real oh. deal. Was. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. <sighs> he thinks he can play with us like this. Wow. I don't know who I was expecting to see over here, but it definitely wasn't Boss. Stage used for events. The seats for the audience. Perfect for dieting. And I. Oops. Then I guess I don't need it. Wish that were me. The office that manages this amusement park. There's a bench. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Mizuki. But armed as you are, you cannot ride this ride. The metal detectors will stop you. No, they won't. Besides, there are no metal detectors. So I can ride it? Spinning airplane ride. The street light. Well, I was in Vegas where I was staying was kind of a junction between places. And we went for a walk really late at night um, because all, everybody was like way too awake. And we walked like under where the zip line is and I found out the zip line goes straight to the huge ferris wheel and I was like I want to do this but it was too late and looking at airplane rides makes me 
think about the fact that uh, pretty much every ride that I will ever go on or think of to do is like going a million feet in the air and then uh, risking it all. <laughs> There are vending machines here. There are all sorts of game games here, like arcade games and games of chance. I play games of chance all the time. There are a lot of cops around. It's a Ferris wheel. A red balloon, not one of terrors. Mizuki, are you hungry? Even if I was, I'm not gonna go digging through trash. He was the zipline into Ferris wheel combo. I think it looks fun. I think I've said this. Uh, to some other friends, but I have this weird thing with Ferris wheels where it's always like my idea to get on one. But my first experience with a Ferris wheel was on a Disneyland trip, and we went into one of the swinging ones. And so now every time I'm on a, I'm on a Ferris wheel, I like brace myself for that because I'm like, that kind of freaks me out. Yeah, I know. I know you're scared of heights. The thing is, I don't mind heights. I don't exactly enjoy the sensation of uh, falling, though. Um, I don't. I can't talk to any of the police officers, huh? Okay. Yeah. The Ferris wheel in Vegas is so expensive to go on, though. But they're gigantic. We like walked under the Ferris wheel and saw how huge like the pods for it were. And I was like, bro, I could walk around in this. There's um they have a pod with like a half hour open bar in it, just going around the Ferris wheel too. Not that I drink, but I'm like, that sounds like a good time for somebody. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to boss. Stop talking about Ferris wheel stuff. It's boss. Ask for a raise. You're only 18. What do you need more money for? I've had my eye on a bunch of stuff. Clothes, handbags, grenades, etc. You really think now is the best time to be asking me for a raise? Talk to me after the case. Why are you here? I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Who? Ryuki. He was too gung-ho, oh. and ended up making a huge mistake. He was here? Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. He came to this amusement park to investigate. Some part-timer was working here, dressed up in an Adarabbit costume. He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. When Ryuki saw that... Oh. Stop right there! He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. But when the guy reached down into the bag, Ryuki must have thought it was a weapon. Oh. He shot him? Yeah, a police officer shooting at a civilian. Ryuki? It's unprecedented. This is going to be a real scandal. Why do you guys just let that boy go around unattended? He's not okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. I know they're just gonna come back to that at some point, but Jesus Christ. About Chikara's left half being found. It's inconceivable. It's like washing your bra without putting it in the net. Sorry, I do that. I would say it's fairly more inconceivable than that. <laughs> I 
I do that with my nice ring but I don't put it in a neck because I don't want to buy one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why they let Ryuki go around unattended. He's not a bad person, but he's not okay. Holy fuck. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. About the balloons. I don't think Terror's balloons are here. How are you doing on your end? Find any yet? Nope, haven't found any yet. Hmm, slacking off on the job, huh? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm looking for a lost TV remote in my couch or something. I'm working. <gasps> About the shooting. I cannot apologize enough. This was my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. What? Dismissal, but... He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Oh. Can we please reconsider? That's surprising. I didn't expect that coming from Boss. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. All that was in a dream, after all. I think it would be even worse for Ryuki's mental stability to be fired. Ugh, oh my god. Okay, where are all the guests? HQ closed off the park. They came up with some stupid reason, like they found something dangerous on the grounds or something. The higher-ups were in a frenzy working on a cover-up. And unfortunately, that means me, too. Yeah. Oh my god. Where are you, you? I think I can fix a lot of people, but I cannot fix that boy. That boy needs, like, therapy and medication. Like, for real, for real. I'm not even saying that in, like, just like a statement of fact that he needs so much help. Huh. <laughs> okay. Why didn't the part timer respond to Ryuki? The guy in the suit was listening to music. He had his earbuds in. That's why he couldn't hear Ryuki. I know you haven't met Ryuki yet, really, and stuff, but he's not okay. He's a good boy, but he's not okay. <laughs> Why is there only one balloon? He only just started putting them up. He was going to put up more, but that's when Ryuki came. Oof. Was the person inside a door a rabbit okay? Luckily, the part-timer wasn't hit. The bullet went through his suit, but it didn't hit his body. Oh, thank god. I was sitting here like, oh my god, he got murked by a cop. Or about to be, but holy crap. So where is Ryuki now? He's getting interrogated at HQ. I saw him earlier. The man looked unstable. He always looks unstable! <sighs> I just hope he doesn't do anything stupid. He always looks unstable every time I have ever seen that boy. Especially on this route. He's not fine. Oh my god, my thigh hurts from slapping it. Jesus Christ. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people, then do my best brown nosing. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. Boss. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? Oh. There is no point in thinking about him Hi, now. Bob. Let's go, Mizuki. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're so right. There's no use worrying. <laughs> 
about it because he is at HQ and getting like fucking slapped with protocol. But it... Jesus Christ. This is why, like, me and I have been saying, they need to get that boy a babysitter. Like, they don't have to be attached to the hip, but just following him around, at least, to make sure he doesn't do things like this. Okay, let's go to Kumi's shrine. Normal again. Normal again. I am normal again. You see? No balloons here. But Mama said... You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. I trust her mystical precognition as far as I can throw her. Huh... What's the fruit of immortality anyway? Likely the Tokijiku no Kaku. You know it? Yes. I have heard of it before. It is said that eating it will grant you youth and eternal life. Many believe it is a Tachibana orange. It is an object of worship at this shrine. Wow, the fruit of immortality. I would just snack on orange here, so I believe that. <laughs> it's Tori. There is no balloon on it. No, no balloons on the tree. That was so weird place for it to... It's so finicky, why couldn't they put it on like, the branches? Like on the leaves? Yeah, I love orange season. Oranges are like, almost always in season except for like, a three month period in California. Cause there's like, different oranges grown here. They're very funny. <laughs> Where's the balloon? That's not it. There's no balloon tied to the lantern. No problem, take your time. The guardian lion dog isn't holding a balloon. Oh no, let's not do that yet. Sure. No balloons in this area. No, she didn't remark on it. Okay. It's the main building of the shrine. This is where the fruit of immortality is. Okay. Hey, wait! Oh. There it is. There it is! The balloon! You are correct. This is a red and blue balloon. See, I told you! How did Mama know? Doesn't matter to me. It should. Let's try popping it. That seems like a bad idea. It looks like there's something in there. Like the one at Yoyagi Park. Hmm. Let's do it. Oh. No, I wouldn't just pop the balloon that the mass murderer guy's been. Alright. That's such fine. Three? What does it say on the back? Indig. That's also how I would read it. Where's my notebooks? I can write that down. 
gotten in the habit of writing stuff down like this. So Yeah. Okay. What should do for now? Three and indig. Hmm. We cannot currently decode this message. We need to find all three balloons. I really want to play Zero Escape on stream too because I really enjoy that series. But, uh, oh, the dialogue did change. Um, and it's on sale on Steam right now, but I'm like, I just got back from a big trip. I should not spend more money. are scary. Okay. Let's look around then. It's a trezoria. You use it to cleanse your hands before worshipping at the shrine. There's a lantern here. It's the main building of the shrine. Welcome back. There's a stone monument here. I can't read what it says. Uh, all you missed was we found the first balloon. On the front of it, it says three. And on the back, it says I-N, then there's a space, D-G. We are about to move on to the next location. There's a tree here. It's a Tori, a gateway. Yeah. A lot like up dog. It's a guardian lion dog statue. All right, to Ion Garden, which I keep misreading as uh, Eon Garden. I O N. What is it, Mizuki? Nothing. Just... This really takes me back. <laughs> That's fair. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We need to find the balloons. here. No balloons in this building. Ah. No balloons anywhere? Something? 
Mizuki, I'm blind as fuck. You're gonna have to help me out a bit here. Oh, all the way on top. Look, over there! No doubt about it. That is one of Terra's balloons. Just like Lian said. But it is high out of reach. It's fine. I got it. Pop it in midair. Don't sweat the details. Well, in any case, you did reveal what was inside the balloon. Yeah. It says two. And on the back? Unra. No way. Terror is... Hold on. So... If you arrange that in order, what we have is unrain DG? Question mark? A pervert! What? Unra? Clearly, it's a code for undergarments. Terror is a panty you thief! You are such Dante's child. The one at the shrine said three. And on the back, it said Indig. It is still indecipherable to me. There's one more bloom left. Afterward. Oops. I asked the workers and the children if anyone saw someone tying the balloon to the tree. But it was no good. No one saw anything. With that settled, Iba and I left. Hello. Oh. It's a nurse. It's Iowan's dormitory. Someone told me once, Show me your pansies. Um. I assume it was a proposal. What is she talking about? I have no idea. Pansies are in blue. That toy that goes back and forth. Yeah? What does she mean? I don't know. Swings back and forth on the spring. Playground stops. I see seesaws. I'm an expert at trekking through jungles. Uh, oh, yeah? It's jungle gym. Swingy swing, swingy swing. Is this person okay? I don't think so. I don't wonder. There's a sandbox here. There's a big tree here. Um, oh, I can't swing further around. Okay. So I cannot examine the castle off screen. Sounds good. Let's, uh, link sync with her. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Because that's what mom and dad named me. 
she appears to be in a theater group or something. Yikes. It's in hers. Uh, great. Good day. Are you here about Chikara? I saw in the news that a corpse was found. That makes the whole thing even more baffling. What do you mean? I had always thought Jin Furaway's disease had something to do with his murder. He had half-body tumors. It's a rare disease that causes tumors to develop only on one half of the body. Organs, skin, bones. I don't remember which side of the body it was for him, but... I always thought his murder had to do with the disease somehow. But Chikara doesn't fit into that at all. I remember. Chikara's right side that was found at Sakiba High had all the innards removed. That wasn't reported by the press. Hmm. But how does it all fit together? Whatever the case, the nurse may have just given us a vital clue. It was mentioned before once, right? That Jin uh, Furui was, like, sick at some point. But I think it was the first time somebody's said directly, like, what was wrong with him. I should turn off my Elpis flower lamp, it keeps distracting me out the side of my eye. Um... information about that in Ryuki's route, and then, um, sorry, I'm just adjusting the screen a little bit, because I know it's not 100% full, but I think we got some of that information in Ryuki's route. Why is it like this? Hold up. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it right now. Um, anyway, I think we learned that in Ryuki's route. Yeah, yeah, because I don't remember the specifics about it at all. Interesting. Um, okay. But why are you here? One of the children here is cared for at our hospital, but they didn't want to come to the hospital today. So I came here to attend to them. Wow, imagine having healthcare that would do that for you. About who tied up the balloon? I didn't see anyone. I just got here moments ago. I see. If no one saw them, they must have snuck in at night. The security here is pretty bad. It hasn't improved any over the years. But that is how Mr. Chieda wants it. This isn't a prison. We don't need cameras. Oh, if only we did. That awful incident all those years ago could have been avoided. What incident? The missing child. I'm sure you've heard of a child going missing from Ion. Uru Somazuki, a six-year-old, went missing one day. Whether it was kidnapping or an accident, no one has any clue. And he still has not been found. It was a distressing event. If they had cameras, maybe it could have been prevented. Even after that tragedy, Mr. Chieda still refuses to upgrade the security around here. I don't know what he's thinking. I feel like security cameras are, like, basic. There is much to think about. We need to find all the balloons. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. That's on it. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> After that, I want to get the place around the city. The last boy was nowhere to be down. Ugh. The sun is already setting. What do we do? Calm down, Mizuki. It is dangerous to drive while agitated. It's fine. At this speed, falling wouldn't even hurt me. 
but the bike could break. It was provided to you by Abyss. If you damage company property like that, it will come out of your salary. Ugh. spotting a balloon in the warehouse district in Ariake. Can you head there right away? Wait, but... I was there already. I didn't see any balloons. You must have missed it. They said they saw it around 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m.? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Specific. If the balloon was there at 8.30 a.m. And it was gone by the time we got there... That must mean... Someone took it. But who would have done that? Could it be? Gun, did you take our balloon? Oh, there are people. Hey, hey, you can't just barge into the kitchen like that. Just listen, please. Gen, are you hiding something from me? Uh-oh. Did you find out I've been using frog meat? Cut the shit. I'm searching your place. Stop. Hey, come on. My customers are going to be freaked out if they see you rummaging around here. You can't be touching things in the kitchen. It's unsanitary. And on top of that... Boy, I hate to have to ask this, but... Do you have a warrant? Mizuki. I know. There's a way to search without touching anything. Right. Want anything. Can you stop for a second? Sorry, I can't do that. I've dedicated my life to cooking. Unlike Oda Matsushita. Why do you hate him so much? How would you feel if there was an excellent sharp knife just sitting there, rusting away because no one was caring for it? It's like that. You know about the balloon, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. There was a report of someone seeing the balloon at around 8.30 a.m. at the warehouse district. You said you were there around 8 a.m. again. You must have seen it. Great. There it is. A popped balloon. But 
X-ray will not reveal the color. It could be a coincidence. Hey, what are you... Shut up. Ooh. What is this? Why did you lie? Actually, I don't really care why right now. I need you to answer me. There should have been a piece of paper in the balloon. Where is it? Are you really not gonna tell me? Then you're coming with me. Or I can have the cops bust in here and close you down for the day to search every inch of this place. Which do you prefer? God. Up oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Why did he lie? That's what I'm gonna sink into him to find out. Well, you may not discover exactly why during the sink. But I can still get valuable information. Ah, you mean what the piece of paper in the balloon said? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Mizuki, before you start, I'll say one thing. I know. I can only stay insomnium for six minutes. I've heard it so many times I can hear it in my sleep. Well, technically... Let's just get started. Okay. Ready? And... Let's begin. are, but I've been wondering about them. This is Brahmin. This is a small place. Finding what we need should go quick. I would not be so sure. You can never anticipate what might happen in Somnia. Anyway, what is that you're doing there? Salmon! I am imitating the rugged salmon of the Sea of Okutsk. But why? We are here to investigate Gen. He has been acting... fishy lately. <laughs> ha ha! Very clever. Shall we begin? So we're just not gonna acknowledge that, huh? Somnium skin! Find the last clue Gun is hiding. Ken definitely knows something about the last clue, where it was hidden, what was written on it. Find out the critical information. Oh, did I have it on easy? Hold on. Guess we should look around the place first. Oh, right. I put it on easy because of that fucking bullshit in Ryuki's route. Oh my god. Hold on. Settings for ants. Uh, do I have to go exit out the menu? I think I do. Oops. Hold on. Let me save and go back to the start because I want this at normal difficulty. That's right. That explains why the last time I played this, the... The... Fucking... Okay, last time we did this, we 
did a sink because I tr always try to do at least one sink in each stream. And it was so easy that I was like, that's it? That explains so much. I never swapped it back after that bullshit. A police officer <sighs> shooting at a civilian. Uh, the more you know. Whatever. It's fine. Guess we should look around the place first. Alright. Okay. A normal table seat. It's a little tight. Maintaining social distancing would be hard. Golden Yokocho has tons of tiny restaurants. Well, oh, how topical. Um... This is a picture of Ganesha, a Hindu god. She was beheaded, and her head was replaced by an elephant. Stories about gods are always really out there. This picture is blank. It is not opening. Okay. Just take my time through it, I suppose. My butt. It is not opening. It's not opening. Walk in style. Let's look at something else. That freezer doesn't open up in the real world either, though. Supposedly. Hmm. Let's see. By incorporating different flavors, a patron will be able to enjoy this same cuisine multiple times. The angle of the knife can change the flavor, texture, appearance, for intestine stew... Wow, Kenny. He sure studies cooking hard. You can tell how serious he is about being a chef. Which explains why it tastes so good. Oh. Really? Win the cooking battle. Cooking skill like, can be improved by... My memory is correctly, he said. They'll never be a true chef. What is this? Komeiji's voice. TV? Or maybe the radio? Let's look. Something's happening over there. Uh, blackout! Iba, you okay? What happened? What? The floor! Now returning back to us, our mysterious Super Chef A! The pride of our culinary academy, Super Chef A. What? Yeah. Super Chef A? Iba? This episode's battle shall be A versus Gen. Our panel of gourmet dining expert judges tonight shall be Matsushita Diner's very own Ota Matsushita to provide commentary. I'm looking forward to tasting Super Chef A's dishes. The other contestant tonight has a chance to finally impress me. Before we've even gotten started, Oda is already trying to get under Gen's skin. He is known for his brutal honesty. Our second judge for this evening shall be... The beautiful Amame Doi from the Fine Maid Cafe establishment, Sunfish Pocket. Good luck, Gen! Hey now, you're the judge. You can't play favorites. <laughs> it's fine. I'll be fair and square. Let's get a comment from both of the contestants. First, Gen Ishiyagane. I don't take cooking like... I should have. Oh, you can sense his passion burning like spicy Korean cuisine. 
Next is Super Chef A. Tell us what's going through your mind right now. Uh... Okay, <laughs> we're almost ready to begin this showdown. Ah, uh, a cook off with Gen? If you win, can you unlock his mental lock? Even if that was the case, I've never cooked before. You're a high tech artificial intelligence. You can do this. I. I can? Yes, if you train. Train? We can use the timey from earlier to shorten any amount of time down to one second. Well, true. But even a few hours of practice will not be enough. I said any amount of time. M Mizuki, don't tell me. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about training. Are you serious? Please, tell me you are joking. <laughs> Go. Let's begin the training. Ah, uh, seriously. And so the long days of training began. Of course, course you call yourself an AI, and that's all you can do. Do it again. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Months passed nearly a year later, though only one second had passed in reality. Hmm. You dare challenge me to a battle of culinary prowess? Pathetic. Yes. I've created a monster! A cooking monster! Bring it on, Gen Ishiogane. Wow! Look at that passion! You can cut the tension in the air with a butter knife! Please introduce the theme. This battle's theme is... A multi-course meal for our judge! Chef's Battle! Tonight is the night we reveal the fruits of our cooking labor. What will you make first? A salad. Fiber is an important part of a healthy diet. With my culinary inspiration backed by That's dedicated training, I can do anything. Let's cook! Oh. Witness my superior cooking technique! What is she doing? She must be making some kind of salad. Wow! She threw the ingredients into the air! And she jumped after them! Good thing this stadium is so enormous. The vegetables are getting sliced up. I can't even explain what I'm seeing. I get it. By slicing the vegetables high in the air, she's incorporating fresh air into the texture and flavor. Incredible! The Super Samurai Chef A is closing her eyes now. She sees the food with her heart. Oh. What? She didn't cut anything. No, look. A, a spiny lobster. The passion, the pride. It's a symbol of her dedication to win this battle. To what air. a crazy That's dish. Iva, what was that? Cooking is an invitation to taste and see with your mouth. Spiny lobsters are yummy. I see. It sure looks impressive. Huh? Ooh. Spiny lobster salad. Done. Looks good. Chef A, what a natural. Her first dish is complete. Looks like a solid dish. What's happening on the challenger side? Stone pot bibimbap? That's a bit heavy for an appetizer. Does that look? No, this is bibimbap salad. I want a mommy to feel comfortable expressing herself. To show the range of her emotions. 
Which is why you chose such a colorful salad. And the egg on top is an accent? As much as I hate to admit it, it's clear plenty of thought went into this. What's next on the menu for Gen Ishiagane-san? The main course. It's looking pretty good. We can't lose, Aiba. Who do you think you're talking to? I did not endure that training for nothing. What are you making next? My main course. Meat. I will bear my soul with this dish. Uh... Okay. Witness my superior cooking technique. Now, Super Chef A buried her soul. It looks like steak. A steak? Kind of a simple meat dish for her maid, you know? This Super Chef A. I'm sure she has some plans for that meat. I see. Let's take a look. Wow. The meat is up in the air. She's instantly resting the meat after cooking it. It's a high-level technique. And now Super Chef A has taken flight like a hawk. She's going to salt the meat in the air. Wow, she's salting while spinning. Amazing. Why is she doing this? I don't know. It's beyond comprehension. Yeah, now <laughs> Super Salty Chef A has returned to the ground before the meat. Wow, she's blowing onto the gas stove and creating a pillar of fire! Oh? By cooking at a high temperature, she's going to trap in the juices. Stay cooked over the fire of Hades! <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. What are the chicken wings around the steak for? It imitates the beautiful legs of an insect. Aiba, are you trying to lose? The aesthetics of food is just as important as flavor. Okay, if you really think so, you do you. That's... Hey, more eyeballs. My elegant steak meal is complete. It looks good. Our fantastical fantasy Super Chef A has completed her second course. Meanwhile, on the Gen side... Is that fish? Omame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. Yes, free as a fish, swimming in the vastness of the ocean blue. Steak versus fish. This could be what breaks the stalemate. He's doing fish. Are we gonna be okay? Worry not, my little kitten. Did you not see how much training I accomplished? I feel like this persona of yours is getting weirder and weirder every yep. time I talk to you. The time limit is For almost upon us. The next dish right will now. be the last. I'm making dessert, of course. The finishing touch will be dessert. Mine will be the best. Witness my superior hand. cooking technique. Put me in situation. Super Chef A finale. What will she make? It's a dessert. The Super Chef Miracle Whipper. She's whipping like no one I've ever seen before. Whipping is all about the speed. Wow, what's this? She's going so fast it's creating a pillar of light. She's throwing strawberries into the light. The sky is sucking up the strawberries! Wow! What is happening? Super Chef A, Queen of All, has been absorbed into the Pillar of Light! The Queen will now challenge the gods themselves. What is going on here? Oh, I love
Super Chef A of the Sky has returned from the heavens! Have the gods forgiven her hubris? The god Chef A is holding a cake! Yeah, this is Kamen Rider Kamen. You can't even see the top! By challenging the gods, she created a cake tower of Babel! The most insane dessert mankind has ever seen! Even the gods are amazed by this dessert! I think you're taking this way too far. Is this? Hey, more eyeballs. God cake? Served! How do you even eat this? Now, Ultimate Chef A has completed all her dishes. Can that dessert be defeated? Let's check out Gen's side. D donuts? Amame deserves love. Forever and always. Hmm. The idea here must be that everyone, young and old, male and female, loves donuts. I remember back in the day, people would line up for hours to get good donuts. This looks promising. Both contestants have finished. Now is the time for judgment. I will judge which three-course meal is the best for me. Oh, yeah, that was the theme. Iba, are we okay? It should be fine. I hope so. Judgment time! Please judge the shocking superstar Super Chef A's dishes first. Mm. This is good! This lobster is a work of art! The lobster is cooked perfectly! This is... this is good! It almost tastes like it's alive! What do you mean by that? It's so good, I can't tell if I'm eating or if I'm being eaten! My senses have inverted from the flavor! That didn't oh, clear it up. It's nice and juicy! This is... this is good! This cake is going to take me to heaven! She literally did that! The sweetness is just right! And the challenger, Gen's cooking. Bibimbap salad? I hate to admit it, but this is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. The fish is perfect. You can taste the freedom in the flavor. The fish is so good, too. And this donut, you can taste the spirit of it. It's a flavor unlike any other. Yeah, it's good. Wow, the lexicon on her. A simple, it's good is all she had to say. Because it's good! In any case, who will be decided the winner? This will be tough to judge. Do you think you're gonna win? I hate to say this after all that, but is this even going to uncover Gen's secret? Uh... Let's head to the results. Please. <clears throat> the winner of this cooking battle is... Super Chef A! What? Yes, we did it! Really? Why? Oh. 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 Okay. I mean, I knew there was a third part, but... Release Gen from the cage. Huh? Gen went into the cage! He locked himself up after being rejected by Amame. So you shouldn't have won? No, the mental lock is unlocked. We are certainly closer to his true heart. Hmm. Gen put all of his passion for Amame into his meals. Let's investigate the dishes. Cooking skill. Cooking skill can be improved by repeatedly performing the same action. Command. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay, there's only two. Gen's Donuts. 
assorted donuts. They all look good. With so many different kinds, it could appeal to anyone. Let's try it. Gens donuts. Let's try them out. You seem like you could use a hand. Can I help? Oh, thank you. Yes, could you hold my baby for just one second? Oh, you're hideous! What are you? Don't touch my baby! People are so rude. People avoided me. Push me away. I was useless in a society like this. Unneeded. It was like I didn't exist. Or maybe I'm not allowed to exist. Which is why I started living my life in hiding. Amame deserves love forever and always. Gen was ostracized by society and lives a lonely life. Genny. Three minutes left. You can do this. No. This is Gen's fish course. Try it. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. What's, What's with, with that, that mask? mask? Why don't you show us your face? God, leave him alone. Monster! What the hell is with this guy? He's a total freak! I can't help that! I didn't do anything. Fuck off! You'd be better off dead, freak! When I was young, there was this kid bullying me. I pushed him and ended up breaking his bones. It's like everyone says. I am a monster. If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. Omame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. from Genny's dishes. What? It appears there was a specific reason Gen lost. Uh. <sighs> the story time is kind of scary. Not as passionate as usual. Nope. He was as serious as ever. Then maybe he overdid it. Don't 
Don't you want to find out more about Gen? But he's trapped in his cage. What about his dishes? Right. Let's investigate. This world, the chef's blank is inside. What is it? I want to know what the correct answer is, but there's a whole nother part of this I have to Bibimbap do. Bibimbap salad. Otis said the egg time. was important. Yes, let me taste it. I am sure you're well aware, Gain, but you are the result of genetic modification. You were birthed from an egg that had its genome altered, in the course of researching eternal life. But this resulted in extreme changes in your bone structure. Your epidermis is also abnormally hard, closer to rock than human skin. You are a failed experiment. I was born into this cruel world looking like this, but I don't resent Chikara, not really. Maybe it's more accurate to say that I've lost all emotion. Happiness, joy, it's all gone gray. This is just my reality. It's how I live every single day. I want Amami to feel comfortable expressing herself, to show the range of her emotions. That's terrible. Chikara Horidori is an awful man. Yeah, he fucking sucks. Holy shit. Oh boy. What was missing from oh, what is it? So it won't take me too much time to go through that. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's in the last section. I wanna know! Hey, Gen! Let me do the same on my own time. You are surrounded. Come out right now. Your mother is crying over you. Listen to her, please! Gen! Gen, please! Come out! Quit messing around! You were in on it too. Mizuki! You have less than two minutes left. Be uh, careful. I do have to talk to a mommy. Do you know what was missing from Genny's dishes? What is it? Self-love. Yes. I appreciate the way you care about me, but... You can't keep hiding your heart in a cage, Genny. I want you to escape that cage. I was useless in a society like this. Unneeded. Do you think I think the same way? Girl, whatever's going on. If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. 
So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. It's like everyone says, I am a monster. I never once thought you were a monster, Genny. Sorry, pause, but like... I know she was asked him, like, do you think I think of myself the same way? I'm sure she doesn't, but every time I think about the one time we synced with her, I was like, that was the scariest, like, sync I've done in these games. <laughs> A little bit worse than the one in the first game, um, for one of Iris's. Like, a mommy sync it's terrifying. I'm not scared of much, but that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Alright, um, pause. Aren't you Let's afraid? Go. Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No. I think you're charming, if anything. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. I want you to love yourself more. Do it for me. But I... That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Amame. Oh, I know. Amame never feared me. I do have a place. There are people out there who need me. Not many. But it's enough. My place is here. I wanted to eat your cooking, Genny. I remember now. I remember her saying it before. Yeah. Okay, then. Frog meat again? Nope. This is alligator. Oh my god. <laughs> I also it's really cry. good. <laughs> Thank you. So sweet. I'm glad. I'm really happy. Now let's go back. You idiot. We haven't found any clues yet. Here you go. What? This is on the house. Oh, thank you. Hmm? It looks like normal omelette rice. Oh. Well, I don't have any more timies, so... Well then, let's eat. Alligator meat is surprisingly easy to eat. Huh? What happened? That's... Gen did have it. Yes. Now we can go back. So put together. Miss. Thank you. I won't lose next time. Aww. Apologies, but you can face Ota next time. I do not want to go through more training. And then UN space 
R A N. Wait, hold on. Am I doing this? Yeah, I am. Okay. And then I N D G. If you put them in order, it's the only words that I really get out of that are host or ho stun rain dg. Surprisingly not as mortifying as I was expected, but I'm still sad nonetheless. <laughs> Left behind. Where's Genny? Abnormal activity was detected in his brain after the sink. It's not anything serious, but Pewter decided to take him to the medical office as a precaution. Gen's brain is atypical. The nano cables may not have been connected properly. Is he okay? Like I said, nothing serious. It's not life-threatening and there shouldn't be any side effects. Okay, if you say so. I think that yeah. man should catch a break. But I wanted to ask any tons of things. About Chikara and why he lied. I am curious about that too. But we should hold off until later. Yeah, before we do anything, let's solve Terror's annoying little puzzle. Right. We got our third clue in the Somnium. The pieces of paper in the balloons. One said one, and on the other side, host. The one at Ion said two, and Anra. And? The one at Ikume Shrine said three and Indig, right? Yeah. What are these signifying? Hmm. Well, if we line up the letters... Indigo underwear hostess? That's way too many letters. Where are you getting this from? Oh, I know. I know you don't know, so don't say anything. You were probably about to say something even worse. Could you two please take this seriously? The letters on the pieces of paper, what do they signify? Bro, you're asking me? How many letters do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay. Um, that is how many letters I do have. If I put the... it has on it is the number order which is just one two three that's in order well we'll just hit okay and see what happens hmm. i really don't get it don't give up think harder no. The 
letters on these pieces of paper, what do they signify? Is the answer in something that I've forgotten because it's been a hot minute since I played this game? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. thing is I moved too, so even if I took a note on it, that notebook's probably not accessible at the moment. Because there was another puzzle that was kind of like this, right? There was that Alfre one. So if I write it in the same way that was, with each thing in order, and then that one was on diagonals, I think? That one was like X's, right? So whole, uh, know if this is correct and I might be pulling this out of my ass because I'm not sure. Horidori Institute Underground? Because I wrote it in order like one on top of the other and then did the diagonal thingy and if I remember correctly, because it's been a minute, the other one was like, you have to make X's. Yeah. Because my instinct for this is like, oh, there is an order for this to write it horizontally. But there was that other puzzle, and I guess just rearranging it to stack them uh, works. Anyway, um, tell me this is right. Hora Inst. Yeah! Undead. Let's go! Horadori Institute Underground. Precisely. Under Horadori Institute of Genetics! Let's go! Sync is only a means to gather information for an investigation. Nothing learned in Somnian can be used as evidence. So Iba and I headed to the Horridor. No Institute warrant. Of Genetics. We're not letting you in without a warrant. And as expected, we got shooed away. But then I gave the security guard a hard right hook and crushed his jaw, and then. Nah, I didn't. I thought about what Boss told me. If you if cause you me cause one me more headache, headache, I'm cutting your pay. Your pay. I put my metal pipe away. Looks like we've got to do things the hard, peaceful way. I looked around the building for any way to get in. And about halfway around the building... A back door! 
but it was locked and it looked like there was an alarm on the door. That's when. Well, well, well. I never thought the police would be calling on my skills. Thank you for your help. Nah, don't thank me. I'm just doing this for old times' sake. I was wondering, though, where is this underground room? Oh, right. Terror's challenge. It pointed you to underneath Horadori Institute, right? But I've never seen anything there. Huh. I mean, I heard people talking about it. I heard this one lab guy there say, Hey, this lab that we're in? This is a huge space. There might be some hidden passageway or something. But it's not like they knew for sure or anything. A hidden passageway? You're gonna look for it, right? I'll help. I already bought this ticket. Might as well take the ride. Yeah, that puzzle was a little bit whack. I think that if I hadn't, like, had to take a break from streaming for a bit, uh, I probably would have clocked that a bit sooner, but... Crap! A lookout! Hide! Ooh, they're gone. Oh, okay. Sorry, I like paused to like reply to things, but I didn't think it would be uh a... There's a window facing the corridor. Mysterious statue. This door. A robotic arm. Something is on the desk. A test tube full of fluid. It's a flask. Another one! Okay, the coast is clear. Say, pretty pumped right now. Maybe be a little bit less pumped. Um, nothing of interest. Wait, there is something. Oh, come on! Again? Oh. Investigating, but she okay, has to go faster let's... every time. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I thought there was something that I skimmed over that flash screen. A pod full of fluid. There's a monitor embedded in the pillar. It's Leanne. He's looking for a hidden passage. About that tattoo. Oh, wait. Crap. Fuck. Another one. Come on. Okay. Let me talk. About that tattoo. What? This? I got it in Bali. It says Danger Zone. Cool, huh? About Shikara. Hey, remember what we were talking about at the Kumakura office? You said there were a bunch of rumors about Shikara. Yeah, some shady human experiments are being done here. Something about DNA manipulation and gene therapy. 
I don't know exactly. I hear they modified the DNA of embryos and gave birth to a bunch of genetic experiments. All for the goal of eternal life. Chikaro was in charge of everything. He had a close circle of trusted associates that ran the experiments. I don't know exactly how it happened, but eventually, word of these experiments started to spread to the outside world. And that's what caused the facilities to close. And that's when Chikara ran and went missing. But they never proved anything in court. The building had already been demolished. All the evidence? Toast. So a year later, Chikara could just rebuild the whole thing. He named it Oridori Institute of Genetics and started all over again. Jeez, another one! Can't I just knock these guys out? I know we can, but... I gotta say... We are having a conversation. Nah, I don't think so. But they're doing something creepy. Creepy? There's some virus called the TC Purge. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know how it works, but if it gets inside you, it messes with your brain. It makes you hallucinate and think crazy things, and it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing it. The unpredictable things. Crazy things. Over and over. Find anything? This isn't going to be easy to find. Huh. Reminds me of my glory days, huh? It really takes me back. Less talking, more looking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what time is it right now? It is 23.45. I agree with Mizuki. Okay. We've got 15 minutes to find it then. Why? At midnight, the new shift of guards comes in. That's their patrol schedule. Oh, you sure know a lot about this. I guess not surprisingly, but... Um... Oh, come on! Again?! Okay, let's... Okay. And my eyes are barely functional, and Mizuki only has one of them. Jeez, oh, another one! Every time, it gets faster. Oh, I gotta say... something because it's not proceeding. Oh, come on! Again? Can I just... Oh, I'm glad that I pressed the right Okay, button. let's go. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I possibly miss. 
because I can't switch to x-ray vision or anything either. Like, it's just straight up not an option. Door. Crap! Another one! Okay. I don't wanna look it up, but at the same time I genuinely am just like, what am I missing that I can't proceed? Because I've gone over jeez! Ah, Gotta say. I'm glad you're pumped right now. Yeah. Should be a little bit less of the nerves. Highly dangerous, strangely armed uh, institute. Oh, come on! I can't how I feel about this, too. Where? Okay. underground, right? Like, it's not gonna be up here. It's not letting me examine anything up there, either. Crap! Another one! These guys come in so often. Okay. Gotta say. Don't tell me this is like a real timer and I have to do this for 15 minutes. Cause that would be crazy. Can I switch to like x-ray vision or something? Oh come on! Right? Like, there's okay, anything let's go. left for me to interact with. Um, yeah, I guess you can tell me. Another one! Look to your right next to the keyboard and monitor. Did I really miss something there? Okay. Next to the keyboard and monitor. Oh, I did miss something. Shit. This is... A journal or research log. One of the researchers must have left it. But it's locked, right? Indeed. In that case... It probably wouldn't have been as, like, frustrating if I wasn't getting interrupted every two seconds by the guard. Jeez, ah, another one! Gotta say. Yeah. Cause here's the thing. I knew that I had definitely missed something, but I just was not seeing it at all, especially with this. Give me on the journal. What's this? I found it earlier, but it's locked. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Easy. Got it open. Man handed it back to me and I opened it up. Like, I 
thought it was a journal kept by one of the researchers. The first part was mostly complaining about the losses. Then there was a section about which of the girls working there were the hottest. Momoka won, by the way. None of that interested me, so I flipped through the pages. Halfway through, I found a disturbing entry. I've heard tons of rumors regarding Chikara Horidori, ever since I started here. He locks the place up every night by himself, and then he gets up to something. Could he be tampering with the experimental data? Could he be licking Momoka's keyboard and chair? You! That would be like we were indirectly kissing! Screw that pervert! That's when I got the idea to leave my phone behind one night and record everything. The next morning, I checked the video, but Chikara wasn't on it. Actually, the only thing I recorded was some strange sound that kept repeating. The melody went something like this. Fa mi mi re ti la mi so. What could that be? Fa mi mi re ti la mi so? Those must be the notes of the recorded sound. Hmm. This alone does not help us. Hey, can you come over here? What's going on? It looked like the ankle on this statue moved, so I tried turning it around, and I found these buttons. Is this a keypad for a pin code? But there are only seven buttons. I tried pressing all seven buttons in order, and then... I see. Each button plays a different note. But it was all over the place. I don't think... I'm sorry, Mrs. That was in order. In any case, the sequence we must enter is obvious. Go ahead. Mizuki? Uh, okay. I don't have an ear for this, so I hope there is a, uh... Or I might need to take my headphones off. One of the two. Three. So... I could go for me so soon. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, oh, the buttons on. one through seven. One is Ray. Two, I am sure you. Oh, shut up! I get it. Thanks. I'm glad that they have a. Five, Ray is one, me is now try again. It's just that I'm just clicking, leave me alone. Because my instinct to backspace for some reason right now is hitting where triangle would be on a PlayStation controller. Um, that is X, not, not Y, so that is Fa, Mi, Mi, Re, and then T is, Yeah, two, six, 
seven, three. There you go. Painful. There it is! Leon, look! The hidden passage! If they made me do wow. it by ear, I would hear us! I guess it's more like a staircase than a passageway. I mean, technically it's a passageway. I would have to, like, this below ground else. area is covered in tungsten. Can you tell me? That is why the x-ray did not reveal anything. Right, let's get moving. Locked. Guess this is where I come in. Very handy. We have a friend who's a uh, walkway. Yeah, it's open. Amazing, Leon. I said, don't be so loud. Ooh. Leon, are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go in. Here, the vibes are always bad. This is mm. I don't like that. That it cut there. What is this? I don't see anything at first glance, but something is up. We should search this place. I agree. Huh? What is it? I thought I heard something. Leon, did you hear anything? No, nothing. I think you're just hearing things. Besides you two, I detect no biological life here. I do not detect anything on the stairs either. Okay, guess it's fine then. I don't... Sorry for spooking you. Let's search the room. Yes, let us do the usual routine. I don't... Uh... Oh, Leon isn't here anymore. Remember what I have explained previously. In this space, objects and individuals that are irrelevant are excluded from the recreation. But even though I can't see him now, he's still in the room, in reality. Correct. He is searching the area. Let us leave Leon alone for now. Focus on the investigation at hand. Got it. We don't know it. Nobody watches him, apparently, so he could be here. It's a power switch. It was on when we came in. Is it a light switch? It looks a little big to be a light switch. Perhaps it powers the entire room. Could be. Mizuki, there is a power line that leads to it from above. Follow the x-ray. It's the door we came from. Right. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, hold on, I'll check this card. Oh! Okay, I see. Yeah. Hey, remember the virus that makes people hallucinate? Yeah, I can... Oh god. Poor Ryuki!
a power switch and an electrical line leading away from it. The line splits in two. Let's follow both. I wonder if the air is being ventilated properly. It's stale in here. We are underground. The airflow is likely quite poor. No, that's not it. I don't know how to explain it, but there's bad air down here. There's an iron plate above the door. What's that doing here? Perhaps some sort of shutter. If that plate came down, the door would not be able to be opened. Hmm. It's bad. It's really bad. This is the direction we came from. So there must be something past this wall too. Some kind of space that would need air to be exhausted. A room? For what? For the scary virus? I did, I did go the opposite direction, right? I see some blood stains. It appears that much time has passed. Years at least. And footprints in the blood. There's a door on the other side of the plate. And perhaps a hidden secret beyond it. There is something in this wall. Is it a switch? Yeah, by pressing this part here, it turns on. A hidden switch. What happens if I press it? It looks as though it powers a different area. Our line in the ceiling leads to the other side of this wall. And if you follow it further? first molar of the upper jaw. It does not appear as though it was pulled out with any instruments. There are no marks on the tooth's Oops. enamel. Scary. Then how? Perhaps the owner of this tooth was punched in the face. Whose tooth is it? Unknown. Let us call this person T for now. T for tooth, of course. Bloodstains have been on the floor for a while, right? There's a square hole here. It is a foot switch, similar to those used at hospitals to open emergency doors. You can use your foot to trip the switch, leaving your hands free but it does not appear to be powered currently. If I want to use this switch, I've got to feed it some power first. And one more thing. There are footprints around the switch as well. The same prints from the bloodstains. These prints are also old, likely many years. We have collected all the ingredients. Ingredients for what? You don't know? Judging by the clues, something occurred in this space many years ago. Someone, let's call them X, came to this room and did something. 
If we can follow what X did, we can discover new information. Huh. Anyway, just answer my questions. Okay, sure. Let us begin. What do you think X did first when they came to this room? When we came here, the power was already on. But it's probably not always like that. An astute assumption. We need to restore power to the entire room first. We will not be able to proceed without it. And next is... What did X do after turning on the power? I am positive. There are no bloody footprints under the switch. Therefore, someone, most likely T, was not yet bleeding when the switch was pressed. Maybe this is a dumb question, but how do you know the switch was pressed? Because of how the foot switch is wired. There are two power lines within the tube. Electricity comes from here and then goes back up the ceiling and ultimately terminates in the foot switch. We can leave the foot switch be for now. Let us move on to the next step. After pressing the hidden switch, what do you think X did next? Ew? No? Don't lick the blood? Hello? Yes, I agree. When T got their tooth knocked out, they started bleeding. That's what caused the puddle of blood. Right. Then, X stepped in the puddle, causing the prints. The finishing touches. It goes without saying what X did last. No! There are bloody footprints near the switch. It is clear that X came here after T started bleeding. Power is sent here by turning the hidden switch on. Therefore, if you were to trip the switch with your foot... And now we know what X did. Prepare the reenactment! Ugh, this again? Are you ready? Um... Okay, here we go. I didn't say yes. The camera is rolling. Ready? Action! My name is Mr. X. I came here for a certain reason. Yes, yes! Keep that energy up. What did X do first? First, I need to turn on the power. Then, do this to the hidden button. And so, the foot switch should have power now. Stop, Mizuki. You forgot something. Oh, right. I need to punch T. Though, I still don't know exactly why. Anyway, hi -ya! Yes, and then X must have stepped in the puddle of blood. And lastly... Something should happen now. I don't know what, but... Something. Let us leave the VR world behind and do this in the real world. Yeah. Even though I still don't get why you had to record that, I think I get the picture. Dory Institute's holding cell is such an ominous fucking thing to put into the corner of the screen.
After following my steps in VR, I put my foot on the foot. And then... Mizuki, what did you do? I guess what you did doesn't really matter. It's the corpse. It's Tokiko Shigure, from Nice Japan. Her left half. What is she doing here? But how should I know? Weren't you the one who made her show up? I mean, I guess. Holy shit. Um... That's the door that was being covered by the iron plate. You're not gonna open that, are you? Yeah, but we gotta look around more first. I'm so sorry, Lian. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. The door we came from is covered up. Hey, what are we gonna do? How are we getting out? Can't- Of course I can't! There's no lock to pick on this! Can't you open it, Lian? Ah, too bad. What? Are we gonna die here? Or not. No, 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 no! I haven't married my Kizzy yet! Does he think getting out of here will improve his odds? I think Lian has surprisingly high odds to marry Kizuna, actually. Other machine. Why are there two of the same machine? They do not serve different functions. They both look to be exactly the same. Hmm. Nobody here. Uh. Oh, this has blood on it too. Oh, why did my door open? Sorry, one moment. Well, I mean, I'm not going far, but... Nobody opened my door. Why did it open up? Here. I thought my brother was sticking his head into my room, but nobody was there. on the other side. Uh, well, let's talk to Lian before I continue with this. And he looks a little freaked out. I think that's justified. Um, honestly. You look ill. You okay? I'm freaking out after all this. I'm on the brink here. The omelet rice I ate yesterday is already up in my throat. Body hasn't finished dealing with that. Okay, um, I guess we find out what's up with the scary machine now. Um, blood stains. Looks like some old and some new. Correct. These stains also must have come from multiple sources. It is safe to say that one source is Tokiko. I cannot yet tell who the other sources were. That will require a thorough inspection. There are blood stains all over from multiple people. This does solve one big mystery. What? All of the victims of the HB case were cut at the molecular level. Those cuts were likely performed by this machine. So this is some kind of slicer? Exactly. 
Do you see that wire on top of the machine? That is CNT, a braided carbon nanotube. The diameter is about 0.4 nanometers. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it is not visible to the naked eye. But I can see it. That is because I am modifying your vision. I am emphasizing it on purpose for your benefit. So you're saying that carbon nanotube was used to bisect all the victims? That is highly probable. So all the murders took place? Here, most likely. Including Tokiko. But why are there two machines? Well, unknown. Oh, I can't. Wait, can I? It's a carbon nanotube slicer. This might have been used for all of the HB case murders. Jesus Christ. Alright, corpse. Her estimated time of death is 1900 yesterday. Yesterday meaning the 12th. It is currently 1 a.m. on the 13th. So, roughly six hours ago. Hmm. But why? That's the question. Mizuki, look at her wrist. Slit wrists. I do not believe this was self-inflicted. Oh. The cut is deep. Oh. But there are scars as well. Perhaps she did try to take her own life in the past. Mizuki, what are we gonna do with the body? I can't just leave her, but... but I need to see what's on the other side of that door first. Yeah... You're really Ugh. gonna go? Yeah, why? What if the murderer is in there? Terror? I was getting All the more reason to go. Well, playing a game about we're really first, courageous. You're younger than me, but... I respect you. Leon, you should wait here. What? If that iron plate drops down, I might get trapped again. Oh, right. Okay. Wait, you're just gonna leave the two of us here? The one and a half of you, yeah. <sighs> anyway, gotta get going. If I get trapped, help me out, okay? Yeah, I got it. message in the middle of this that I will say after this cutscene. What is this place? A bed, refrigerator, shower, toilet? Is someone living here? More like confined here. Look at the door you came in from. There is no handle. It cannot be opened from this side. Oof. Good thing Leon is on the other side. If we were all trapped in here together, within a week, Leon would have become a rabid animal, and then... Ha! If that happened, I would have beaten him to death. Anyway, we should search the room. The one and a half of you was also incredibly funny. I love Mizuki. Um, anyway, my friend sent me a message uh, while we were transitioning scenes, and apparently her little sister cut her hair a little bit so she could have, like, an ahage, like the, you know, the flyaway bit of hair that, like, anime characters have, and she keeps it wet to keep it together, and I was like, that's so cute, your sister's like, what, ten? <laughs> Training equipment. A bed. Tons of papers stuck to the wall. The text on them looks practically random. It'll take a while to decode this mess. Part of the wall is covered with papers. A PC. I tried messing with it, but nothing happened. 
It's a desk. There are thick books on it that look difficult to read. Upper floor desk. Below in a second. It's a punching bag. It's been used quite a lot. It's a shower and bathtub. It looks really old. It's a toilet. A steel drum. There's nothing inside. Oh. I want this fun stuff. Below. Why not refrigerator? It's all preserved food inside. The production dates are recent. Someone must have been here not long ago. Yeah, but why is this stuff in here? It shouldn't need to be cooled. This refrigerator is broken. The cooling function is not operable. So this was just being used as a storage box. That seems to be the case. steel sink. It's really dirty. Uh, it's a raggedy sofa. An old TV. It's a tire. So that part is fenced off from there, but you can get up to it from here. This is nice. The Nonyable X symbol. A nice flag. It's a locker. A mysterious pattern is drawn on it. Please, I'm begging them to not have these really specific hitboxes if they make another game. The shelf is filled with what looks like drugs and other stuff. That looks like those are all the same. Tink. Oh no. You've seen this before? Of course. How could I forget? This is what caused my left eye. And Kizzy. It is a thermite bomb. Six years ago, a thermite reaction caused Jin Furroway's right half to burn. I know. I read the report. Basically, a miniature version of this was set in the body, right? Correct. Thermite bomb. God, these kids are so traumatized. There's something on the desk. A shitty looking computer. Iva, can you take a look? On it. Oh. Internal data has been analyzed. Mizuki, take a look at this. Is this? It is the Nirvana trial video. There are backups and working files on this computer as well. It seems as though that video was produced here. And one more thing. There was some unedited QR footage as well. But that means... Yes. The QR video and the Nirvana trial video were both created on this computer. Alright. What is this? I turn the page. This is what was written. I've been here for ages. I'm trapped here, suffering. It's all their fault. They took so much from me. They used my creation without permission. 
but I'll never forgive them for it. Just writing about it makes me furious. I want to kill them. It's a diary. There aren't daily entries, but it seems like the person who lived here wrote it. There might be some clues to the case. Let's keep reading. Unlike them, Mom is really nice. She's taught me a lot of things. Nice is wonderful. The world is a lie. These things happening to me are a lie. Mom said that she's going to tell the truth to everyone. I want to help Mom. I love Mom. But... Why are you nice to him, Mom? I hate him. He needs to pay. Continue. There is a date here. This is from six years ago. February 9th. He came this morning. I thought he was here to mock me. He always picks on me. But he said that's not why he was here. He said he wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I've heard him say it a million times. Things turned red all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, he was on the ground. I think I hit him. He was bleeding from the mouth and unconscious. I thought, this was my chance. I knew how to get the machine out. He basically taught me everything. I took the machine out, set the body in, to be split in half alive. This description. It is similar to what we reenacted earlier in the room next door. So the person writing this diary was X, and he is probably T. He got his tooth knocked out. February 9th continued. As I looked at his dead body, I thought to myself, If I use this, I can help mom. I'd been planning this for a long time, but when I saw that body, the light came on. The intersection between the warp and left, that's where the scene can occur. By creating that, the people of this world, Moksha. February 10th. Early morning, I went to go see mom. I told her about my plan. She agreed. She even said, I can use her money. This has got to work. Ah, uh, Mom, you're so kind. The Nirvana Initiative, I'm going to make it a reality. I decided to proceed with the plan. I thought of a new name for myself. My name is Terror. I will start my life with this new name. February 10th continued. How ironic. The one thing I needed was being created in this very facility. TC Purge. Such a wonderful virus. But I was told it was still imperfect. More time was needed. No need to be rash. I decided to wait with mom. Fortunately, there are tons of NICE members among the researchers. When I told them about the plan, they happily obliged. Ah, I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun! Oh my god, there's so much more. Okay. February 11th. Someone interfered. I put it there, but it was gone. Insufferable and no mercy, 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 no mercy. I'll find you and I'll kill you. February 12th. I found you, filthy thief. February 13th. I cut the thief in half and then set it up. Your fault. Didn't give it back. The undoing is done. I can finally relax. February 13th. The thief cut in half. The thief must be... February 13th continued. I met the person of my destiny. What? 
person of my destiny. The diary ends on 2.13. It's all from six years ago. So the diary ends there. Anyway, we now understand. The person that was being held here is the culprit of the HB case, Terror. If we wait here, will they come back? I do not believe they will. Once they reach the stairs, they will know someone intruded. And we'll try to get rid of said intruders. If they did, a certain someone would be gotten rid of first. Uh. Leon! We need to get back there now! Yeah... I hope you're okay, Leon. About last night... Sorry, but I don't want to get involved. I'm going home. Leon left Horidori Institute. I waited at the institute until the investigation crew came. When they got here, I continued to investigate the place. Now I'm here at Abyss HQ. Wow, you really outdid yourself, sneaking in without a warrant. Ugh. Um, I'm sorry, boss. Aiba, you need to keep an eye on her. I am functioning just fine as Mizuki's left eye. I should be rewarded for the work I did last night. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that room without Aiba. <sighs> True. What you found was worth bending the rules a little. But this should still warrant a punishment, you know? Boss, I suggest leniency. Mizuki had a strong, personal reason for wanting to search Horidori Institute. The gene therapy? Boss, you knew? Who do you think I am? I know my subordinates so well, I could tell you how many moles they have from memory. So, did you know that Daddy and Mom weren't my real parents? Yeah. Hmm? What is it? Oh, I was just... thinking about something. Something Mom told me once. You! I wish, I wish you had you never been, been born. born! I was thinking about that. Oh. Do you think she meant to say I wish we never adopted you? Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> Poor Masuki. I'm glad that... Lien didn't die or anything. Um, I think they should send somebody to watch over him, though, because, uh, <laughs> uh, I also want to kill Shoko. I don't feel bad about God. Yeah. I, I also was kind of expecting Polar Bear, too. Red Lanterns are lined up. A chain of origami rings. It's a shelf. It's a doorway. Colorful balloons are floating. Ribbons are hanging from the ceiling. A hanging plant. There are stars on the wall. Shoko is awful. Like, I feel bad about a lot of things, but I don't feel bad about that. To cheer. There are a bunch of bags on the grid shaped racks. A shrunken red lantern. Just a ball. It's a Matryoshka doll. It's a cabinet. This one. Mizuki to be happy with her, like, actual family of cringe failed dad and Iris and Iris's mother. Wine bottles on display. 
and Ipa. A tombstone with R.I.P. engraved in it. There are files, documents, pachinko ads, those sorts of things. Yeah, and Shoma. I'm really concerned that we haven't seen Shoma at all since starting Mizuki's route. There's a big catch flag on the wall. Don't you hate it how at beauty salons, they make you sit in front of the mirror after getting your head shampooed? I sure do, thanks Mario. Boss's friend, Mario. There's an RC car here. You know my brother, when he gets a haircut, he really likes to go get his hair shampooed by them. Very interesting to me, because he doesn't... Yeah... He went on a camping trip, and, uh... Well, the start of this... The start of Mizuki's route, right? Like, we went searching for Shoma, and then after all of that mildly concerning searching, they were like, Oh yeah, he's on a camping trip, and then we didn't... We didn't, didn't hear anything. It's a Shogi King piece for decoration. There's a coffee maker on the shelf. God, coffee sounds good right now, actually. I've had some... I don't know why, my head has been hurting a lot. Well, yesterday, and a little bit today. Not as badly, but... Caffeine sometimes helps. Boss's desk. Maybe we'll see Shoma soon, question mark. It says, happy birthday. It's a jack-o'-lantern. A bookshelf. There are all sorts of things on there. There's a PC on the desk. It's kind of the monitor built into the computer. It's a darts machine. It's a big triangular ruler. It's a snowboard. There's a door curtain for a bathhouse on the wall. There's a police poster on the wall. It's a boy band poster. There's a new map on the wall. It's a symbol. It's a stationary bike for indoor training. It's a Christmas tree. It's a life preserver. There's a mysterious mask hanging on the wall. There's a mysterious mask hanging on the wall. There's a door curtain for a soba restaurant on the wall. I had soba yesterday for dinner. It's a plaster figure. A broken clock. Yeah, I wonder what Shoma's doing. It's Iba. She's out of my eye socket right now. Boss, sitting on the desk as usual. Boss, do you get along with your daughter? Well, we're not blood related either. She's adopted? Yeah, but we get along well. That's nice. I'm kind of jealous. Some families run deeper than blood. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even get along. You have other relationships, right? Mizuki, you do have a lot of friends. And most importantly, a boss who's reliable and kind. Kind? I am kind! If an elderly woman was trying to cross the street, I'd stop cars for her. You could also carry her. Thanks, you too. Oh, Mizuki. That's what I'm saying, though. I'm like, Mizuki's family is not the people who uh, adopted her, except for, like, Date. It's all of her friends. Yeah. Right. Um, before I start crying, um, about the blood. Ah, oh, right. Regarding the blood around the slicer, we tested it for DNA matches. Jin Furaway, Chikara Horadori, Yonaharu Enda, aka Andes Komeji, Tokiko Shigure, 
and one more. One more? Yeah, five different DNA. But we don't know who the fifth person was, which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Oh no. Really worried about who that fifth person could be. Uh, about about nice. Okay, I'll give you the rundown. Six years ago, after the incident at the cathedral, the armed vigilantes scurried under whatever rocks they could find across the country. Their group was forced underground. It is thought that they are still active, despite our investigations yielding little results. And of course, we interrogated everyone we caught as hard as we legally could. We got a search warrant for Nice, looked through all their documents. But we could not find any incriminating evidence. That's why Nyes is still kicking today. They are as cunning as they are ruthless. <sighs> About the diary. Terror's diary. I read it too. There's a ton we can get from it. But the most intriguing thing is the Nirvana initiative. How are the HB case and that plan related? There is still much we do not understand. We do not know who Terror is and why they were imprisoned there. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some investigating. Wait, you haven't gotten any sleep. You should rest first. You're kidding, aren't you? That look in your eyes is telling me to keep fighting through it. <laughs> you know me very well, Mizuki. Where do you plan to go? Well, let's see. I think I want to start by talking to Lian. Maybe there was something he noticed that I overlooked. And next, Shoma. Oh. I haven't been able to ask him about the one-wheeled robot yet. And then Mame. I think Mame knows something about the Nirvana Initiative. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Nirvana Initiative. Understood. I have confirmed their locations. Lian is at Ioen, Shoma is at home, and Amame is at Brahmin. I want to gather more information too. I've got to go to Lemniscate, Devita, and Marble. Understood. Let's get going. Don't push yourself too hard, Mizuki. Sir, yes, sir. Understood. Okay. Let me just say, because I haven't done that in a minute, but we're gonna keep going, because I also want to see Shoma. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, this thing. Oh, hell yeah, I was just gonna go down the list per usual. Show my first. The Manderville is my favorite dance. End of residence, February 13th. Tatsus during the winter are the best. I don't know anyone who would use them during the summer. Uh, hey, Mizuki, can you not barge into my place and use my kotatsu? What? It's nothing. I wanted to ask something. Really? Do you have time right but now? Shouldn't you have asked that at the front door? The it's the kotatsu's fault for being here. Kotatsu, bad girl. Greenery and a garden can be seen out the window. There's a squeaky toy hammer here. It's a folding fan for slapstick comedy. I mean, I guess they introduced Shoma, so it makes sense that they would just make him like a little bit taller model, but... It's an utter rooster doll. I think it's so cute that they have matching 
at her, at her whatever plushies, a kitchen, refrigerator. I think I've said that before. <laughs> the closet. Wearing a backpack with a t-shirt on makes the back of the shirt right up. That dull talks, huh? Yeah, but I didn't make it. Dad just bought one that could talk. Yeah, that are animals. It's a talking robot. A dresser. You're not doing anything under the kotatsu, are you? No! What? Sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I bought a kotatsu. A TV remote. It's a book on robotics and engineering. Shoma, question time. Preschool, elementary schooler, adult. Which one is the biggest? Um... The adult? Nope. Preschool. A preschool is a building. The other two are people. You got me there. <laughs> They're so cute. This answer button for the quiz. Pat, so I have to do that. It's a toy robot. It's a Quiz King trophy. It's a TV stand. I think so too. It's a poem that was probably written by Komechi. It's a family altar. Oh. It's very empty. Me too. God, that timeline was so good. The timeline was so cute. It's a CRT TV. There's a cute protrusion on top. I love that Mizuki's like, oh, it's cute. And Ryuki's like, strange protrusion. Aiba, can you make a funny face? Why? Just do it. Okay, fine. How's this? That's totally normal! I can't help it. There's not much I can do in this form. Mizuki, quick! Get your breasts out and dance! Why? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> There's a picture of Amino Azuzume on display. It's a lucky face. I like that Aiba is being like extra gremlin right now. Probably specifically because Mizuki is sitting with Shoma. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. It's Shoma. He hasn't changed since the first time I met him. Uh, Link Sync. Oh! I'm still not over it, you know. Uh. I'll show them justice. Shoma. Oh god. Unexpectedly pain. Uh. Okay. Was this camping fun? It's a change of pace. I don't have good memories of this season. I came back, and there was a ton of commotion with what happened. Is that why you're here, Mizuki? I guess you could say that. That robot... Oh, this? After coming back from camping, I found that the one I made earlier was missing. So I'm making a new one. It went missing. Was it stolen? I don't know, but it's not like it's gonna move on its own. So I'm guessing it was taken. I don't know who would go through the trouble. How many people knew about the robot? Only people close to me. Ah, well, I did show that Ryuki guy when he came to question me. Ryuki? It does not seem like Shoma is lying. He most likely has no idea that the robot was used at the stadium. I'm glad he's uninvolved, but man. How are you? Can't you tell? I can't tell by looking, which is why I'm asking. Sometimes I talk to you thinking you're down, but you're doing well. 
Other times, I think you're in a good mood, but you're not. Well, I'm normal. I'm not, like, having fun or anything. That's the Shoma I know. What? <laughs> you're weird. Sure. Do you know about nice? Yeah, of course I know. Because... Uh... I used to be a member. What? It was a while back. I'm not with them anymore. But you know about Nyes pretty well then. I guess so. I know about their philosophy. About the Nirvana Initiative. That I don't know too well. I know the Nirvana trial, the video. I continued to ask Shoma about Nyes, but he knew nothing more than I knew already. They're so cute. Aiba, have you noticed anything off with Shoma? I do not believe he is lying about anything, and his appearance does not tell me anything. It's good that he wasn't caught up in all this mess. But why was Shoma's robot used to carry Jin's left half? That is still unknown. We still don't know if it actually was his robot, right? True, but... Hey, Mizuki, can I ask you a question? Six years ago, Jin Furroway's right half went up in flames out of nowhere, right? Did you ever find out how it was done? Oh, well, the body had a small thermite bomb inside it. It was set up so the bomb detonated on a timer. I see. Why do you ask? No reason. Aren't you on the clock right now? You're gonna get scolded if your boss finds out. Ugh. Shoma is right. You need to work like a breeding horse to keep boss off your back. Like what? That. You need to work like a draft horse. I thought I heard something else. They're so cute. I want to hang out with Shoma more, though. Uh, I'm glad you're okay. I am so worried about you, though. That link sink and that last question is so concerning. Aggressively trying to give him head pats. <laughs> this is the best I can do. <laughs> Alright, to Ireland. Oh wait, uh, uh -huh, I accidentally cancelled out of it. Still don't want to go, but I I'm glad Shoma's mostly okay where is the oh there he is hey mizuki something is wrong huh you do not have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. Sorry, Kizzy. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll head home. But if there's anything you need, just call me, okay? I'll fly right over. Are you pitying me? What? On that day six years ago, I became disabled. I used to love dancing, but I can never dance again. You apologized so many times. You said you were sorry you couldn't protect me. That must be why you stay by my side. I have burdened you with that guilt. Am I right, Lian? No! Kizzy, I... Ugh. What are you doing? Putting an end to this. Me too. <sighs> Mizuki. Big sis. They drive me insane because I'm like, no, shut up, you do care so much about each other. Jungle gym. A swing set. A slide. There's a clock on the slide tower. There's a big tree here. There's a sandbox here. It's Ion's dormitory. 
I keep wanting to say Eon because I just see enough letters of his name and I'm like, oh yeah, obviously. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to Kizuna first. Kizzy. She must have been through hell. She was only putting up a facade. The signs were there during the wink sink the other day. Those repressed emotions must have finally boiled over. Kizzy. I apologize. I wish you hadn't seen that. He seems to be in lower spirits than usual. What's wrong? No, oh, I, uh, made Kizzy upset. She said that I'm only with her because I feel guilty. And I told her that's not true, but I guess words aren't enough. Oh. Mizuki, have you forgotten why we are here? We are here to ask Lian about yesterday. That can wait. I can't just leave these two like this. I want to see them get along. How? Well... <laughs> it is hard to fix what has been broken. The arrow of time only moves in one direction. Wait, what did you say? The arrow of time? That's it! The time capsule from six years ago! If we could dig that up... Aww. Huh? Mizuki? Where are you going? I think it was around here somewhere. Yeah. Somebody needs to knock their stupid heads together. Like... Can we... Leon is off in the distance. Kizzy is off in the distance. No oh, special dialogue for this. Oh my god, these are so finicky. Ooh, I missed the 3DS. Alright. There it is! Indeed. Leon, can you go grab a shovel? Oh. Well, that was okay. out of nowhere. You gonna bury a dead body or something? No, I'm going to Let dig me something know up. If you get a dead body? No. Uh, the time capsule. Time. Capsule. I hope your power does not go out though. <sighs> the shoes are still in good condition. The letters too. Why don't you read it? Uh, right now? Do you want to bury it for another six years? <sighs> okay, then. I... What's wrong? This is kind of embarrassing. Just do it! Just do it. To Kizzy. I love you, Kizzy. I really, 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 really love you. When I first saw you, I seriously thought an angel descended from heaven. I was thunderstruck. At that moment, I decided to devote my life to you. The glass slippers that I put in the capsule are a symbol of my never-ending love for you. To me, six years in the future. I'll never forgive you if you make Kizzy cry. I'm gonna fly to you and punch your stupid face. Whatever happens, always be by her side. When she's struggling or in pain, Support her with everything you got. Even if your feelings aren't reciprocated, <laughs> make sure she's always smiling. Make sure you dedicate your life to her happiness. That is my request to you. You're up next, Kizzy. Here. But, but No buts. Read. Fine. To me, 
six years from now, how do you truly feel toward him? I still do not know exactly how to feel about him, but no matter how I might feel in the future, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. It is not becoming of me to play games with a man's heart. If you think no, you need to tell him no. It would be better for him. But if you do have feelings for him, I'm sorry, Leon. Sorry? Is that a rejection? No, I meant about earlier. I took out my frustration on you, and I am sorry for that. I should not be placing my anger on people I care about. If it is acceptable to you, if you do not mind that I am the way I am, Leon, will you... Kizzy, it's like I said before, six years have gone by, but my feelings haven't changed. My love is eternally undying. I myself have changed. What do you mean? My feelings have changed over the last six years. Leon, I... I love you. Aw, there it is. You are my Prince Charming. Kizzy, Kizzy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm glad that Mizuki was like enough and scruffed that. <laughs> Mizuki, why are you here anyway? Oh, right. I asked Leanne if I had overlooked anything from last night. He quickly told me that I had. Why did we even come here? It's fine. We made them happy. Oh my god. I... Yeah, I think knowing how the, this game tends to go, it's very likely that one of them die in some timeline. But, Jesus Christ. I can't believe I had to sit through Kizuna's... Kizuna's sink. And then, like, only to come back, and they're still doing this fucking... thing. I'm so glad Mizuki was just like, ENOUGH! That's where the time capsule is buried. The time capsule, it's beaten up. Kizzy is in a good mood. It's good that the problem is solved. Thank you. It is all thanks to you, Big Sis. But I do not know how Father is going to take this news. That is my only concern. But I am an adult now. I will solve this on my own. Yeah, good for you. Tamagotchi? Do you play on fortune telling? Not really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Leon. It's Leon. He's his usual self. I'm glad. Totally. Thank you, Mizuki. The day started with seeing all those awful things. Kizzy was on the brink of hating me. It could have been the worst day of my life, but now. It's become the best day of my life. Oh, you mean because there we were in Horidori Institute flags. past midnight? Hmm? Yeah, that too. That too? Iba, can I wink sink into Leon? I will not protest, but why? I got a feeling. I think Leon is hiding something. Hmm. Is this for real? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. 
If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock. And see what's inside. What did all that mean? Unknown. Leon must have seen something that shocked him. That must be what he was referring to earlier. Hmm... I'm gonna get going now. I wish both of you eternal happiness. S stop it, Big Sis. I'm gonna make Kizzy the happiest girl in the what? world. So what? No, the whole Are universe. Lian. <laughs> Mizuki, what do you want to do about Lian? About the wink sink? I mean, it is concerning, but I think we should focus on our investigation. Understood. Let us proceed to the next location. I guess... Feels like a weird thing to move on to, but... Alright. Um, Robin World Cuisine. So what are you here for today, Mizuki? Oh, I wanted to talk to Mame. We're kind of busy right now, so can you make it quick? Oh, I'm not here for you, Genny. I meant Amame is busy. Genny, are you mad about something? No, not at all. You seem a little mad. As you can see, I'm all smiles as usual. Okay. Oh, no worries. So, Mame, can we talk for a little bit? Oh, um, yeah. I also, uh, I know you're gonna see this a little weird. I also am just like, how is she not... Like, this is maybe related to our extremely suspicious case, because there's a lot of suspicious things happening. some group like that, yeah. But I don't really know anything about it. About the Nirvana Initiative. What is that? I've never even heard of it. About Horidori Institute. You asked me that like you were asking for a glass of water. That facility. It's a really touchy subject for me. It's not something I want to casually discuss here. If you really want to know, at least wait until after work. Why are you in a bad mood? Like I said, fine. I'm just focusing on work, that's all. Sorry, God. Mommy. Mommy doesn't seem to be doing well. Are you not feeling well? Yeah, I haven't really been doing well recently. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, about eyes. I know the name. I saw it on some occult website. But I don't know anything more than that. About the Nirvana Initiative. Sorry, but like I said before, I don't really know any of the details. I just looked it up online. About Horidori Institute. Horidori Institute? What's that? I'm not familiar. Mizuki, take a look at this. 
not just her, Gen as well. What do you think? They are both hiding something. Guess they leave us no choice. Let's have a look. Yes. You. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Interesting. Amame must have told Gen something very important. Perhaps a secret. I think Amelie voices, um... Kizuna and I know she does like voice stuff on YouTube. I'm not super familiar with Amelie, but I remember somebody mentioning that. And mommy. Hold on. I require charging between link sinks. Can't we use the backup? You mean like I did for Kizuna and Lian? Those were special circumstances. Come on, just do it! <sighs> Fine, but I did warn you. Surely that will be plot relevant in a little bit. <sighs> what do I do? I have to obey. I... I... Oh. Help me, Dad. You're watching from heaven, right? So please... Obey? She also mentioned her father. Watching from heaven. Right. About your dad. Um, Mame, this might be a touchy subject, but your dad, is he deceased? Yes, six years ago. So that is the situation. Yeah. The two of them are hiding something important. Indeed. Oh, by the way, this is all your fault. Huh? I am out of battery. Hey, wait! Aiba! Aiba! Oh, I need to head to work now. Huh? And I need to go shopping. I'm low on ingredients. Wait! Bye! Goodbye. Ugh. Ugh. What is going on? That shit does always happen when Aiba dies, and I... Hmm... Can't I make a pit stop and, like, poke her into a wall charger or something? Mizuki, kiss me! Hi? What? Kiss me, Mizuki! I just realized this! Kiss Me Mizuki is a palindrome. Oh, no, it isn't. Hey, didn't think the president herself would show up. Yeah, I'm not here for work today. Investigating the case? Yeah, I'm doing some questioning. Based on Lemnus Gate's schedule, I knew Iris would be here. So I wanted to come talk. It's the automatic entry. Mizuki, look! It's a Ceratocanthus! Yay! Go, Ceratocanthus! The plan. I guess we charged Iba in between? Slurp, slurp, <laughs> slurp, slurp. It's not so ba. Those noodles are really long. Iris is very cute. The 
sofa. Various mint magazines are displayed on the magazine rack. Special regarding wire worms. Mizuki, can you steal it for me later? I'm the president here. I don't need to steal. I don't... I want Oda to get a haircut so badly. Tessa, you can sit on me whenever you like. Aw, thank you. Excuse me? Do you get what he's saying? There are high spills around the table. Mizuki? Do you know where Ryuki is? Why? Well, I haven't seen him in a while. I did take his advice, though. About what? About... Yeah, about what? No, oh, I... Sorry, I just kind of stopped. Sometimes they show Tessa's videos there. Yeah! The most recent one we shot was me splitting watermelon on the beach. I want to see. Promotional videos of the talent from the agency are playing. It's the reception desk. Oh, there's a lot of links. Iris have one. Iris does have one. I heard that painting is actually titled A U V A. I wonder if it has anything to do with a set. Okay, let me save real quick because there are just three wing sinks here. Okay. Let's start with the receptionist. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Then you must want a little puff puff, huh? I'll do it, if you get my riddle right. What's it called when you get a little penetration and it hurts at first, but then it makes you feel all nice and woozy? Huh? <laughs> Wrong! The answer is donating blood. I don't think you should feel oh, I see. after donating blood. Okay, let's reload so I can do my... I can get more, more wink sinks. I haven't donated blood because I frankly don't talking. really want to, but you should not be feeling woozy after blood donation. Um, I think so. Iris this time. Twirly, 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 twirly. Ugh, my head is spinning. What I do wonder with Iris is what is up with this outfit. <laughs> I love her though, but it sure is a new outfit she has. Alright, on to Oda's. Tokiko Shigure, from Nice Japan. The person that was being held here is the culprit of the HB case. Mm, I feel like, while well, we've gotten answers about a lot of things, I have so many more questions. She does look like an anime mech pilot. It's like the onesie and the tights and the half jacket. And then she's like wearing super sci-fi looking high tops. Gas, 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 I love gas. I love gas. City gas. Propane. 
Asparagus! What? Stupid Oda with his stupid hair. Agree! It's Iris, our top money maker. She's full of energy as usual. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Hello. Oh, Perez. You look cute today. Cutest in the whole wide world. True. <laughs> Can you raise my salary? Nah. Um, are you trying to seduce me into going to a Tommy with you? No. I'm not Dante. Working hard? Of course. I always give it my hundo percent. Like when one of those big shot producer guys comes in here, I greet them at the desk naked. Yeah, you're fired. Aw, come on. Bring me on full time. I don't think so. She's been working here at least, like, six years, and she's still part-time. Sheesh. It do be like that. Kind of feel for her a little bit. There's a receptionist. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting- I'm sorry. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. Thank you, Date Konami. The big titty receptionist. Help. <laughs> big titty receptionist. Big titty. Big titty. Titty. There are big titties sitting behind the desk. <laughs> are you malfunctioning? A receptionist. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you, Tati Konami. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, where is this going? Why can I still click on her? I guess he mean I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Honestly, good for her. <sighs> okay, let's just talk to Oda. Huh? Did you want to ask me something? Nope, not at all. Oh, come on. Can't you ask me something like, why are you here? You're just waiting for Iris, aren't you? Yeah, you nailed it. Get a haircut! Mizuki is so real for that. Any information? I'm not an informant, you know. I know, but you're always on top of gossip and rumors. Well, if that's what you're looking for... You got something? Remember when I told you about the video two days ago? The Nirvana trial, right? And that many people have gone missing after watching the video. Yeah, that! I heard there's something big going down. Something big? Recently, we've been hearing rumors from all over Japan. A bunch of people have started acting really weird. Oh, no. That is accurate. National news stations are beginning to report on this phenomenon. Well, what do you mean by acting weird? Like people who start dancing for no reason, smash glass windows in stores. Some people have been reported rolling up and down the streets or hitting their heads on light poles. Standing in the middle of an intersection for tens of hours. Running into a wall over and over and over again. And also, people jumping. Yeah, jumping off rooftops. Are you saying this was all caused by the Nirvana trial? Yeah. All those people started acting strangely no, after watching the video. Up. I bet. Does that video have some kind of mind control effect? No, it does not. After all, you saw the video as well. Good point. It's not mind control. And I'm as normal as ever. I think it's like how people, when they decoded the bats, uh, whatever video, they... Uh, 
that when people solve the bats video, they went to a location, right? And then these people... These people... Must have done the same thing with the Nirvana trial. And then got in hit with... TC Purge. I thumb. I was like, it was like Bats 90 is what was in my brain, and I was like, that's missing something. Thank you. Right, there's that man that's just sitting there. Hey, it's him. Um... Stop! Do not interact with him. Why not? I recognize him. He is a Kumakura. But there is something abnormal about him. What do you want? You got a problem? No, I was just wondering what you were doing here. Why am I here? Duh, Yomante. Oh... You know, that's fair. I too got gaslit because I was playing as Ryuki, which is probably why I am not remembering that offhand. Ayamante? Hit it in the head and you can hear the sound of civilization. Hurry, right? Bag. She's Shamo Hell. Hey, oh. wake up, old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Old man Shamo. Gregory, oh. Gregory, Greco Roman style. Oh, he's crazy. I told you not to talk to him. Hey, about that guy. What's he doing here? I don't know. He was here when I got here. There's something wrong with him. Is he doing hard drugs or something? Shh! He'll hear you! Oh no, he's coming over. Told you! You saw the video too? What? The Nirvana trial. I did, yeah. So you must have went there. Where? Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misaton. Later. Oh. Yeah, this man definitely has the virus. Oh, but, glad nothing happened. Uh, I wonder if he saw the video too. Seems so. So the rumors were true. Watching the video makes you go crazy? Yeah. I am curious about what he said. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misaton. But then again, calling him scatterbrained would be charitable. We probably no. do not need to put too much stock into what he said. It doesn't... Thinking about it isn't gonna get us to anywhere. Check it out. Anyway, Iris and Ota, I'm gonna get going. Okay, see ya. Good luck with the investigation. All right, to the Kumakura office. Hey, Mizuki, what are you here for? I'm investigating the HB case. 
I was hoping to get some new information. Ah, new info, huh? Locker by the window. Do, re, me, sofa. <laughs> I'm doing an impression of that famous third generation thief jumping into bed. There's a tiger rug on the floor. There's a coffee table. There's an ashtray on the table. This month's plans are laid out on a whiteboard. 28. Debate. Tessa's future. I'm gonna slap me. It's some sort of permit. There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It says, First, do not get angry when an update is required for playing a game. No! I grew up in an era where games came to me fully, like, done. There's a partition right in front of the doorway. I have such a hatred for DLC culture as part of games. I hate games being shoved out half finished and then having to patch it five million times. I know it's not necessarily the fault of the actual people working on the game, but higher up. Anyway, I'm going to stop before I go on an insane rant again. Um door connecting to the next room. It's a dragon with a golden ball. Hey, Mizuki. Does looking at that lantern give you ideas? Give me ideas? Like, fear or something? No. Uh, oh. I, I see. There's a row of lanterns. It's a family altar. Hacking. I am trying, but it may take a while. It's fine, don't worry about it. There's a PC on top of the desk. It's the chairman's desk. It's a keyboard for the PC. There's a phone on the desk. The Kumakura crest is on display. This is where the chairman sits. Not. There's no one else here, so I can't make a single time. Oh, hey, everyone! Let me introduce my beautiful wife! It's Iris Saga! Oh, honey! We're married now, so it's Iris Kumakura, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. Hello, everyone. I'm Iris Kumakura. Nice to meet you. I fell in love with Moma's masculine manliness, so I just had to marry him. Yes, yeah, you're a I'm so, so happy you so happy you to you be here. Moma's imagination is running wild. He might be going crazy too. About the Kumakura at Oh, that's Dokuta Yogano. He's a Tessa fan too. Probably why he was at Lemniscate. No, it didn't seem like that was why. Well, what do you mean? There was something wrong with him. He was acting strange. Oh well, yeah, he's always like that. Don't worry about it. I mean, he is the kind of guy who will bust out a Gatling gun and start shooting at the drop of a hat. Thanks to Telecop. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm watching Tessa's new video. Okay. I want some information. Well, let's see. I don't know if this is related to the HB case, but at Iowan, the joint run by Richie Chieda, a long time ago, one of their kids went missing. 
There's a rumor that Shikara Horadori had something to do with it. You mean he kidnapped the child? I don't know. But I do know that Shikara's been doing shady shit for a while. Went around the country doing DNA examinations of children. Plus all that sketchy research he was doing. Maybe he was using the kids as part of his research or something. Maybe combining bodies. Combining bodies? What do you mean by combining bodies? I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other? What? Hold on. Why would they do that? I don't know. No way of knowing what's going on inside some nut job's head. Anyway, Jakara was supposed to be doing shit like that. That's definitely related to the HB case. Yeah, maybe. It seems that Jakara really was attempting the experiment Mama described. That would explain the machines in the basement. And why there were two. Damn. Thanks, Mama. I think what you told me might turn out to be a big help. Nah, don't thank me. Instead of thanks, could you bring Tessa with you next time? I'll think about it. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. She didn't agree. Investigation is going a little bit. I think so, yeah. And wasn't he supposed to be like weirdly healthier too for. Well. Oh, Mizuki! Drinking early, I see. I need to ride later, so I'm not drinking. Also, I'm underage. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're here to gather some intel, right? Yeah. All the pieces here. There's an occult poster on the wall. Wanna watch a video of a female praying mantis devouring a male? Oh, hell yeah! I am kinda curious, but not now. Curse you, Mizuki! That's a suspicious book. That's why it says, In Search of Lost Tire Irons. Suspicious books. Um, maybe. They were just kind of keeping those on tab, so... There are bottles and glasses on the shelves. It's beer tap. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count how many there are. Did you count the number of bottles? You must be really bored. There are bottles lined up on the counter. There's a painting on the wall. Fire. Oh. I wonder if that dipshit has spent more nights sleeping on this than the couch. Dipshit. Oh, Date. <laughs> of course. Um, I don't know about Shikara off the top of my head, but I wouldn't be surprised. If he did, because in his sink, we did um, have to fuck with his DNA in it, so he probably also did shit to himself. It's stool. Hard to say. It's sofa. Uh, Ryuki did find the first half of his body, yeah. And then the second half showed up in Mizuki's route. It was. It was in Ryuki's route that that happened. No, you're right. <sighs> I might finish.
finish this investigation section and then I think stop for the day because I need to eat and I don't want to eat too late. There's a table in front of the sofa. The menu is written on the black. What is Caprese? You'll know tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's Valentine's Day, right? It's a salad, not a portmanteau of couples are crazy. I feel like I've explained this before. Here's a question. If you get it, I'll buy you a drink. What's something that hangs down the middle of a man? They come in different shapes and sizes, too. A necktie? I was talking about wieners. Hmm? What about them? Oh, nothing important. Crystal is just kind of meaningful to me. How so? That's what I was named after. Crystal and Kanji can be read as Mizuki. That's what Daddy told me a long time ago. That's beautiful. I think it fits you perfectly. Though, I guess it wasn't his idea. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you. If anything, I want some answers from you. About what? Well, about Jin's left half being found at the stadium three days ago. Oh, I can't tell you anything about that. Could his body have traveled through time? That's impossible. I didn't tell her about the one you for a while. It would take a while to explain. There's something fishy about that stadium. Maybe there's some strange device hidden there. Think about it. They've been doing construction there for half a year. They said something about some issues with the structure. Maybe that's just a cover, and they're really working on something else. Like what? Like a time portal to teleport Jin's left half from six years ago. It feels like Mama has changed ever since she started telling fortunes. I don't remember her talking about occult stuff like that before. Hmm. About Horidori Institute. Horidori Institute, huh? Oh, I remember. You know that they were closed down once, about 15 years ago, right? The underground was abuzz with rumors about them doing some sketchy research. Rumor is, the one who leaked the story was... Richie Chieda. Mr. Chieda? Richie Chieda is a major stakeholder at Horadori Institute. He must have had plenty of opportunities to gather insider info. He's the chairman of an orphanage, you know. He really does love children. So maybe he decided he couldn't turn a blind eye. Thanks, Mama. If anything comes up, be sure to tell me. You're welcome. Uh, by the way, Mizuki, any boyfriends? Uh, that came out of nowhere. I was just hoping for an introduction, is all. Uh, unfortunately, not right now. Not right now? I go to an old girls' school. Finding a boyfriend there would be pretty difficult, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. Uh, I should have gone to college. Oh. Well, come back soon, and next time, get a ride from someone, hmm? I told you I'm not drinking! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm like, Shoma is right there. <laughs> Shoma's right there, sweetie. Alright. Last section, unless they spring something on me. Studio Divida. On that day six years ago, Shoma's father was found here. Indeed, but only his right side. What are you showing me? It is an image that was stored on the investigation database. I was not physically present. Not that it would have made a difference. I lost all memory from that incident six years ago. So, what do you want to do here? Well, I kind of just wanted to retrace the investigation steps. He might be genetically modified to be smart. They can be genetically modified together. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's clearly comfortable enough to just barge into his house and, like, go chill with him under the kotatsu. And he's not bothered by it enough to just to be, like, light scolding about it. <laughs> They're very cute and good. I love them. Step ladder. Heavy door. Long table. Yeah, right. When are we getting chocolate? Where's that in the investigation? A big camera. A camera with a tripod. It's a monitor for watching the contestants. It's too bad none of my friends like sweets very much, otherwise I would probably make them something for Valentine's Day. All my friends are, oh, I don't like sweets that much. Hey, there's something there. Oh, it's just a mannequin. I just like doing things for holidays, though. Show lights. It looks like Iba is standing there. Hmm? Am I that mesmerizing? Hmm. I suppose you just cannot help yourself. I am the cutest thing in the world. I'm cuter. Is something wrong with your eyes? Oh, self-deprecating now? About the body. Komiji's estimated time of death was February 13th, 2200. The cause of death is obvious. Komeiji was kidnapped here and taken underground at Horidori Institute. Indeed. Circumstances of the body. Komeiji's right half was found February 13th, six years ago. It was discovered by Ryuki, Amame, Iris, Shoma, and Kizuna. Ryuki came here with Komeiji in an attempt to contact Terror. He was attacked and rendered unconscious which also disabled Tama. I wonder if it was Terror that attacked him. That is the most likely possibility. While Ryuki was unconscious, the other four individuals entered. And Komeji's right side was found. Oh yeah. And then Amami is... Anyway, why are you curious about that. this? Well... I'm done here. Let's get going.
I guess wrap up at the Kume Shrine. I wonder. I also... Because that person's a mystery right now. Hmm. I continued my investigation with Aiba, but I couldn't find any more leads. I headed here to Akumi Shrine to go over the information we gathered so far. But as soon as I got here, a suspicious group of people caught my attention. Oh. Uh, they're nice! Specifically, the armed group that went into hiding. Yeah, it might be. Because, based on the information we have, like, you would assume initially, right, that it was Jim Drue who died, but I don't think he was involved like that. What are they doing here? I too need to organize the information in my brain. Why don't you interrogate them? I don't think they're just gonna answer me. In that case... We can use that tree to... Sorry, can't think of anything. What is your plan? The Tori is totally unrelated to this predicament. Have you stole my line! I forgot to clean my belly button. Who cares about your belly button? It's a Chazea. You use it to wash out your belly button before worshipping at the shrine. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It was like... Just throw the second game. We can throw the stone monument at Stop. them! Sure. Good luck with that! I mean, Mizuki could do it. Praying! Mantis! Mizuki, this is no time to mess around. I know, we should have the guardian lion dog protect us. How do you suggest we do that? forward to the rehearsal tonight. Oh. A rocket with TC Purge and the warhead. Oh. We shoot this up and... <laughs> Purge? Terror wrote about the same thing. The one thing I needed was being created in this area. If it's implemented into a rocket, it would cause TC Purge to spread. Airborne. 
But where are they gonna shoot off a rocket? Likely not around here. I searched the area with X-ray, but I did not find anything of that nature. Then... Hey, excuse me. What do you want? I want to ask you something. Where's the rocket at? Uh -huh. Could you be less subtle? You are supposed to be a detective. Help. How do you know about it? <laughs> Who cares how? Yeah, because now that you know... Wait, hold on. Are we gonna fight? Just so you know, I'm really strong. When I was in elementary school, I kicked down a tree. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. Yep, that's me. We fought at the cathedral six years ago, right? So you do remember. Anyway, you and your goon should really back off. <laughs> You're just one little girl. And now that you know our secret, we can't just let you leave. What a yeah. Let's do this. It doesn't have to be this. <sighs> Fine. All right. Bring it on. You should take us more seriously. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you? We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go! Uh, nice. uh. 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 Iba! Allow me to assist! Oh, hold. Okay, hold on. My fucking brain cells. <sighs> I'm not made for Fine. active time events. Alright. Bring it on. You should take us more seriously. I'm not made for go. games in active time events. <laughs> oh. Only the main mechanics of your video <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you? We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go! Uh, uh. this soon we can't waste any more time here ah, screw it let's just get out of here hey you're going nowhere what happened are you okay it's fine it'll pass don't worry about me go after them uh what 
They're gone! Damn. Oof. I assume we're gonna talk to her. ILN Garden. Why didn't you chase after them? You should have just left me. No, I couldn't do that. Why anyway, why come here? I find comfort here. I was raised at Iowan. What? I do want to do this section, but I also want to eat, and this seems like as good a stopping point as any. So, we're going to stop here for the night, um, and then hopefully come back to this next I want to say maybe later this week, but I... I don't know. I might go out this weekend, now that I am, uh, free from the plague, and I checked CDC guidelines, and it's fine for me to go out again, so, uh, family might want to do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely get back to it next week. I just need to figure out when. Um, because I would like to do it when you're able to come visit, or not visit, what, what am I talking about? Come, uh, actually, like, watch the stream through. Um, so, yeah. Let's go back to the top menu and go look through bonus stuff. Yeah, I've had the feeling that the masked woman has been Kizzy's big sis. That sure does, um, more or less confirm it, I feel like. Do I not have any problems? I'm also happy we got to see Shamba. I thought we weren't gonna see him again for a while. But there he was. Oh. else could it be, right? Like, they're not gonna just introduce a random character after they've kind of established who exists already in-game. Like, that to be uh, a character for something like that is a big reveal. But, okay. I'm gonna go get food, and this should be and we'll pick up again next week, because I really want to get through this game. I'm not sure how far along in this route I am, because I didn't look at the, um, I didn't look at the flowchart. Because I figure I'll see it when I hit an ending, but, yeah. Great. Bye-bye, see you on Discord.